Hear ye, hear ye. Harmontown is now in session. I, uh, I am guest controller Alex Rubens, and please welcome to the stage the mayor of Harmontown, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. And thank you to the kind people that wrote, performed, and legally represent that music you were playing. Uh, <laughs> Give, give us a week. Give us a pass for one week. We've we got to figure this stuff out. Uh, no one's making any money on this tonight. Uh, just a dry run of our video podcasting ability. Um, uh, where you can, you, the people that are watching this, uh, hello to you, live streaming wherever you are. I saw somebody who said they were getting up at 3 in the morning in Ireland to watch. I think him and like 500 other people are watching. So we've doubled our audience. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're just we're just we're just seeing seeing what it takes. Where's the red light? There it is. <laughs> I was tr- I was all right. I'm not gonna let this affect me. <laughs> but I am I am standing like a good eight to twelve inches back because that camera gives us a great shot of your handsome face. Oh, so wait, that red light is telling us where the. Yep. Whew. It's pretty right. fancy, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I paid for all this shit. <laughs> that's that's what I do. Yeah, yeah. I take my money and I turn it into more for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I yeah. don't. I put it into the budget You're for like community. Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's not ruin their night because of this. So I am. Uh, I'm staying at the Hilton for a week. Uh, that's why I'm wearing a shirt that says Los Angeles on it, because <laughs> I haven't been uh, I haven't been home to grab some clothes yet. Having a little bit of a premarital. Aaron and I are taking a it's a tradition in our uh, American culture. We're taking a week long honeymoon away from each other before <laughs> yeah. we get married because we we uh, it it, it uh, things are things are scary right now. Yeah, um, we're having we're having dramatic times. And uh, I, I can I can only report on my emotional uh, part of it, which is that uh, yeah, I'm 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 in a hotel. I'm playing a lot of Minecraft, and <laughs> <laughs> I actually I actually burnt out my uh, my laptop's charger today. Like I there was a point where I had to leave the hotel room because the the not the computer but the thing that powers the computer that has to be plugged in the whole time because if you're playing Minecraft, it'll, the battery lasts 10 seconds. So the charger has to be plugged in the whole time and it gets as hot as a frying pan and then at a certain point, I think it just shuts down so it doesn't cause a fire. Is that, that, that square white plastic Yeah, thing? the square oh. white plastic oh. brick. Yeah, the, the, and, and, and that, so that thing eventually, I guess it has like, you know, it can only go three straight days before it just like <laughs> goes like, I, I don't know what you're doing, but you're not the president, so stop it. <laughs> Uh, hire someone to do whatever need, else needs to be done. I'm just an Apple device. I am, I'm the best of the best, but I can't handle it no more. <laughs> See, I lost my grammar circuit. No, um, that's... that's the laptop still talking. <laughs> so, I went, so I went to the Universal City Walk, because I'm at the Hilton over by the Universal City <laughs> Walk. Oh, yeah. And I went to walk over there. Uh, so all of my stories are from uh, the walk from a hotel room to an <laughs> elevator. <laughs> To the Universal City Walk and very quickly back. Uh, oh. First of all, uh, elevators on the top floor of the Hilton, uh, uh, or uh, an upper floor, to the point where I had to wait a very long time for the elevator. This story gets much better in a second. <laughs> it's, I like it so far. Uh, it, would t- it took an, a, 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 a noteworthy amount of time for the elevator to come. I thought, I I thought maybe there's a problem, or it oh. must be less like, I don't know what, ele- what, what, what hotel peak hours are it was 10 a.m maybe that's peak elevator coming and going time probably (laughs) is families on vacation by the way and we'll get to this in a second i don't know who these people are that come to la to be where i was (laughs) i i i I, I don't know is it like it's if you live in seattle or florida and you're coming to california go to disneyland (laughs) 
Why are you at the Universal? Well, I think uh, Universal City Walk is something people have heard of, and I think sometimes that's all, all it is. Well, needs. yeah, because Universal tells you about it. They have uh, a lot of money to tell you about it, but they also have a lot of money to tell you about Despicable <laughs> Me 4. They don't, I mean, they, that's how they make their money is telling you shit, but you don't have to believe them all the time. Like, they're not Disneyland. That is a shitty theme park. I think, uh, come on. You, yeah, you, it's you not. you got to agree with me. Backdraft? The, <laughs> the experience? Well, you, feel the, you feel the heat. Uh, uh, you, you, uh, that's a, I mean, they, they know what they're doing. They know that it is a place you go, I guess, if you're afraid of Disneyland? Yeah. Well, the thing I like about it is the people uh, who are your hosts are clearly, at least the times that I've been, are, are pretty tired. So when they're, when they're doing the whole the, bit... Well, like the people who are, uh, well, I was oh, the say people driving that in the, in the, the trams, but they're probably not driving the trams. Well, the people who are talking to you, who are like, oh, and here we are uh, at uh, this subway station. Uh oh, what's this? And they're just doing it that the, yeah. that energetically. Well, it's, uh, less, you know, because they've done it so many times that day. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh boy. The the dinosaurs are uh, have escaped from their pens. But but then again, I guess you expected that. <laughs> Because it's the Jurassic Park ride. It's based in a movie about something going wrong. Yeah. Michael Crichton was very inspired by theme parks when he wrote his books, Westworld and Jurassic Park, which are basically the same story, but with cowboys and dinosaurs. Anyways, as Michael Crichton often predicts in his narrative, something's gone wrong. Which either suggests that, that, that nothing's going wrong, because something's supposed to go wrong. Yeah. Or that you were about to be cheated earlier. Right, exactly. You yeah, were about it, it, to see a very boring <laughs> dinosaur ride. Yeah. Normally we just go around on the tracks and you don't see any dinosaurs, but did, you're safe. Did, did you ever hear the urban legend? Rob Schraub told me this, so sue, sue away. Uh, you, you in Ireland. Uh, so, uh, the, Rob told me that he heard this story that when they first opened uh, the Jurassic Park ride, the, it ends, spoilers, with a T-Rex trying to eat you. And it can't, because you're on a ride. And, <laughs> and, and, and it, but it tries. The illusion is that it tries. That's what you paid for. I don't, yeah, have, to, yeah. I don't have to explain this no, to you. they get it. Yeah, they understand. That. You're on a raft, and the, the, the ride starts with, like, welcome to regular, normal dinosaur park. Oh, my God, something's gone wrong, et cetera. It's, uh, okay, we'll get you through this as quick as we can. Um, and then they get you through it, and at the end, of course, there's going to be a you know, water slide at the end. But right before it, a T-Rex, like, tries his best. Like, he's like, I'm going to still eat you. <laughs> He's like a Midwestern 10-year-old dinosaur. <laughs> I'm going to still eat you. Uh, I'm supposed they to. Were, they weren't more faithful to the movie. I thought it was a strange <laughs> choice. To have. I, I, I didn't have any biscotti. I'm going to supposed to eat you. <laughs> uh, it's a very lovable dinosaur. You just want to pick him up and, it is cute. and, yeah. and not take him to the zoo because he'd be like, what the, this is more boring than like normal life. <laughs> All right. The, so apparently, and I don't know if this is true because I think you would have heard more about it, but apparently on the initial kind of maiden voyage or one of them of the ride. The An actual are, dinosaur. Tourists are in the raft. The, uh, <laughs> kind of, in a, in a sense, <laughs> uh, if the story is true. The T-Rex, the hydraulic T-Rex, uh, malfunctioned in real life. <laughs> and it kind of like, like Rob described it as the dinosaur going like... Uh, it's like you go in the raft and the di- and the and they're like and the person goes, "Oh shit! Look out! We're gonna have to." He didn't say that. That was a, that's not the part that went wrong. He's like, "Oh no! Look out! We're gonna have to go really fast and get past this T Rex." And the T Rex went, <laughs> and scalding hot hydraulic fluid sprayed the people as they were then thrust down a, a water slide and their picture was taken. <laughs> And, and Michael Crichton's ghost was like, I, first of all, I'm not dead. Yeah. Second of all, yeah. meta. Like, like, holy shit. And he's like, I got an idea for a third book. Yeah. Well, he does, he does have a time-traveling ghost, doesn't he? Isn't that part of his I'm shtick? sure he wrote a book about a place you go where time-traveling ghosts are not supposed to do anything wrong to you. 
Uh, and then uh, on page 25, I have a feeling that the ghosts start not time traveling <laughs> yeah. right. I believe that story about the hydraulic uh, hot acid spraying Tyrannosaur. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like we don't, I feel like the, maybe the, the theme parks are pretty good at not sharing. I, I, maybe I'm a conspiracy theorist, but I kind of feel like those don't, aren't front page headlines of nobody gets killed. Yeah, but if that, then every once in a while, somebody does, in fact, get killed. Yes, that's true. And that's still not front page headlines, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, man. you also can't find out, Spencer tuned me into this, you can't find out for the life of you, I don't care what book you're writing or what <laughs> industry you represent, you can't get a statistic about cop killings. I mean, cops killing people. Oh, right. right. Uh, that, that you can't find out. You can't just, like, like how many times have cops <laughs> killed people? Can't can't Google it. Yeah, where does it happen the most? How often? How many times a day? Did I tell you this that I I, I was writing a sketch? I, I also I write for Community, and uh, Rick and Morty. Um, oh, uh, uh, please, your guest comptroller Alex Rubens. I'm so no. sorry. Where's oh, no, my, I introduced myself. Really. My manners. No, no, no. I don't no. know what I'm doing. No, so nice. I'm a wreck. No, I'm in the middle of a. Thing. Well, you are. In I'm the living of at a, a hotel. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I bought a sweatshirt that says Los Angeles on it. <laughs> You look you look pretty put together though. I mean, all the, the shirt's actually funnier. The shirt says <laughs> Here, I, I'll, I'll punish that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you want to you want to zoom in on my shoulders in Ireland? Yeah. My God! <laughs> Making use of the technology. It looks like the, yeah. the Battle of Galway. I, why am I Scottish? And there was no Battle of Galway. The shirt says. I, 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 the shirt says, I believe, I can't read upside down, Hollywood, an American tradition. It's like, never, never, never in the history of powerful words has a bunch of words been used yeah. that mean so little. Uh, uh, Hollywood, an American, an American tradition. tradition. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess it I is. Guess it is. I, mean, I, I guess it is an American. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing Soviet about Hollywood. <laughs> uh, nothing Chinese about. It. Yeah, it's, it's a, it really is. It's as old as apple pie and the country it exists in. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's almost not worth mentioning on a T-shirt. <laughs> Do you think they mean like you know how like uh, the what's the word? Um, you know, you guys know synecdoche and metonymy. Ah, uh, uh, this idea is <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna let it all hang out yeah, for the rest of the. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> Let's talk about synecdoche while Dan is naked. Um, no, uh, 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 well, no, not not Synecdoche, New York, which is a pun on Schenectady, New York. But the actual word, I used to be an English teacher, so I can make this very boring. Um, uh, no, no, no. But this idea that, like, when you say the White House, sometimes you're not talking about the place itself. You mean the you mean presidential power, the executive branch, uh -huh. you know. And sometimes when people say Hollywood, they're talking about the film business. All right. So do you think that they mean... They mean the <laughs> film business? Yeah. How much? Well, I don't, no, I think they're just like, please, you we came here, some text. Like, like, did you bring money? And <laughs> It just seems weird, because I, I, I went to Universal CityWalk, which does not sell laptop chargers, uh, <laughs> which it should have occurred to me that that is not something that you would ever buy on your way to a theme park or yeah. from it, so why would I want to find... Why they would they just have Dippin' Dots, there? basically, right? Dippin' Dots yeah. and, and a sock store called uh, the L.A. Sock Exchange. Just Oh, oh my God. A, it says it's the, it's the craziest sock store in the world. Do you think the, the name of the store came first before they had the idea to have a sock store? I think or? that the name of capitalism came. <laughs> uh, it, like, like they, I can't... The weird thing is you see people on the L.A. Uh, the Universal City Walk Every, I mean, it, it happened like eight times before I was like, okay, this is a thing. Like, people just stop and take a picture. But they're taking a picture of a row of neon signs that say Bubba Gump right. and uh, uh, Abercrombie and Fitch yeah. and uh, Radio Shack or whatever is going yeah. And then, like, an ad for Box Trolls 3 or something. <laughs> And there was like all this security there because of some movie called Box Trolls, and I was like really offended. I was like, "Don't try to keep me out of Box Trolls. Like I don't, 
don't even know what the fuck. Is Tom Hanks in it? Because like, what the fuck are you? Like, Wait, well, there's like nine people here who could all be saving lives somewhere. Like, like I, don't, I ain't trying to get in your box trolls. What, wait, your, bo- your box getting, trolls what? What were they trying to keep you out of? I don't know, man. Just some there. movie about some box trolls, motherfucker. Some I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> you know, I did hear that there's a lot of crime at the Universal City Walk. I might be making that up. No, I've heard that. It's like, that's what's really sad about about it, it, like, like the idea that gang activity happens at these yeah. shitty. Like I always thought, I always thought gangs had like secret places they could yeah, go, yeah, like, like pool like halls abandoned. or something. Yeah, yeah. but they no, they have to go to like ice cream shops, right? <laughs> like like m- m- like just b- bad movie yeah. theaters. Although and I guess if I imagine being in a gang, and this is probably not at all what it, I'm sure that I'm wrong about what it's like to be in a gang. I'm, uh, the one thing I know <laughs> no, for sure is that I'm wrong. But um, I feel like if I wanted to, <laughs> it's probably really offensive. If I wanted to, you know, like make trouble, right? <laughs> <laughs> Which is how people like me see gangs. <laughs> so it must be how they see themselves. No, but I mean, if I wanted to, f- you know, fuck shit up, I might go to Universal City Walk. Well, I think what happens is that they're taking the day off from being a gang. Oh, they're just, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why fights happen, because then they run into another gang, and they're like, you you come to Knott's Berry Farm? <laughs> Vato? <laughs> I, I, I just, it's a guilty pleasure for me and my essays. <laughs> I, like, we're, we're human beings. If you prick us, do we not bleed? Yeah. Like a, we just we like cotton candy. Now I have to shoot you. You saw me at Knott's Berry Farm, <laughs> and you're in a different gang. This is yeah. not. Uh, yeah. I would, and this is why we're not in gangs. We, I think we would go. You come to Knott's Berry. All right, let's just hang out together. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they no. They're like there's something more pressing about gang business for them. Yeah. Well, the second somebody made any threatening gesture toward me, I'd be like, I, I quit the gang. Like I'm sorry that yeah, I'm yeah. in the wrong <laughs> gang. <laughs> Like I, I don't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I saw. I, you're like a, you, you'd be the guy who like wh- wears like all the like <laughs> all the like, colors. They, they tell you like you need a red bandana or a red thing uh, yeah. on your shoe. You're like all of the above. Uh, you'd yeah. be like this red guy. <laughs> <laughs> like you'd look like a you'd look like a, a like a yeah. like a some shitty improv troupe uh, uh, like uh, off the strip in Las yeah. Vegas like trying to bite on blue man group shit <laughs> like you've done some like kind of g- color gimmick and then and then yeah somebody would go hey man. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up, and then you'd go to your gang leader and yeah. go, "Something happened Sorry, today." Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. Or I'd be. I, I was at the circus once, and I saw this guy who. It, it was a woman actually. She did this amazing trick that I still don't. It was explained to me, and I still don't understand it. That's my favorite stuff with the magic. When even though you know it's a trick and it's not what you look, it looks like you still are like I physically do not understand how that's possible. But this woman had a hula hoop, and she just passed it over herself, and she was wearing different clothes. That's not gang well <laughs> related. <laughs> they wear they wear they wear different colors. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking that's probably what I would do. Oh, oh, if you, would I do were, you would you would yeah, do that if I like, just you, pass a hula hoop over just, myself. You would just, just zelig to whatever whatever <laughs> gang yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I would also yeah. like I would here's here's a couple other things I would do. In a war, I would definitely because I do it all the time in my dreams, when I'm accidentally in a war in my dreams, I would play dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm surprised there's not more stories about that. Yeah. I, ta- I actually talked to a veteran uh, that was in the Korean War, and I don't, I, and I don't know how he, it, it, he was. He was there as part of a, like a vet conference or something. I ran into him at a hotel. This is years ago, but I, you know, I was like, man, I, 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 my, my family's riddled with vets, and I just, I have all this guilt about being a fucking doughy piece of shit, <laughs> g- g- fucking le- their legacy. <laughs> so I like, like I, I bayoneted a million people for you while like a voiceover played in the, you know, well, in they the, fought in the, for your. For your freedom. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, then I'll be in comedy sports. Yeah. Well, that's what they fought for. I, I know, that's what they fought for. That's why I hate myself. <laughs> like, I should at least open a Dippin' Dots or something. <laughs> something that feels, I don't know, like something. I don't know, like like, like a bayonet store. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, uh, this one's for you, Grandpa. Yeah, I'm hyper aware of the decline of my generation <laughs> yeah. as I, yeah. I think, I mean, they shouldn't have shaken all those canes. It got, it got, it got to me. Uh, the... Uh, the the he said he told me a story, he's a vet and he can uh-huh. say this, you know, like but he he was like telling the story about how he he played dead, oh he did and he, he did. like it was, a, it, was a, it was a terrible situation all his friends were dying and and he he just said he just thought like a child like I'll just lay still yeah. and he did and he did it for a really long time and he says. Uh, you know, war stories are sometimes they're they're the only truth that we have, and sometimes they're very apocryphal. But uh, uh, he says that the at a certain point during him playing dead, 
a the, one of an enemy soldier who took their territory because they, they all got killed or in his case played dead. Like <laughs> at a certain point, uh, they mounted a, you know, they rested a tripod uh, on his chest no. to gun for oh a machine gun. God. And he oh, just laid man. there at, and they <laughs> used his body. Wow. Yeah, I don't know why you would make that story up. I do, I, like, yeah, uh, that's yeah. true. I mean, like you, you would if you were like 10 and you had never been in a war. You'd be like, what if? And then what if? <laughs> but he had oh. the little hat and the medals, and, and he was wow. bummed out about it. Yeah, and it was yeah, like, so it felt like real, real. <laughs> he wasn't like, high five, right? And I, like, <laughs> he, he was like, yeah, that's, there's a story for you. And I was like, that makes me feel better. Like, I, I, yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. a lot like I would definitely let my country down. Well, I feel uh, like outside of movies, probably for the most part, a single soldier isn't, isn't changing the tide of a battle, right? You're mostly getting killed. You know, that's stinking thinking. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, that's the terrifying thing. Saving Private Ryan, and it yeah, fucking yeah. opens up, and it's just like those gates come down, and it's just a... Yeah. And they're like, wow, that's, yeah, that's probably a tenth of how chaotic... Boy. Yeah. And I feel nervous controlling Harmontown. Yeah. <laughs> How will we get through this? <laughs> so, wh- why were we on that? So part of your job is to keep me off uh, tangents. Oh, yeah. Like, well, we were talking really about clean, Universal tight show. Uh, City Walk. Right. And looking for the, the well, the, the tumult in your life. Right. Uh, and gangs. gangs. But I feel gangs. Oh, came gangs. Off okay. Of yeah. Be, be a City bad Walk. gang. Yeah. 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 The guy would say, yeah, okay. We're done yeah. with that. Yeah. But, yeah. I'd be a terrible <laughs> gang. You know, you, that's why they do a really smart thing with gangs, apparently. I saw on the P- P- PBS. Yeah. Uh, they, you know, they, they beat you up uh, going into the gang. They're like, welcome to the gang. We beat you up. Right. Well, so wait, then you're well, like, okay, I know how that feels. Oh, so you're not afraid so of... So like maybe I'll be a little... You know, maybe I'll uh, get through that first one with the enemy gang. Right, right, like, right. Like, because Ralph beat me up. <laughs> <laughs> and he loves me. Yeah. Do you think they really, like, they really fucking beat you up? I like, bet they fucking go crazy on you. Yeah, for sure. How, yeah. I mean... Okay. So the, streets are, the streets are all they have. I don't think yeah. you get this. No, I... <laughs> Yeah, I'm like the opposite. I'm like such a. I'm I'm ashamed of how not in a gang I am. I've got. I'm like a, just a. Just I'm like three percent more in a gang than you. I think you might be. Yeah, just just yeah. by not showering. Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if I stink. Yeah. S S S A. Yeah, I'm. A, I am. I am deeply. Uh, I, I I I realized this a while ago that every time I imagine somebody is holding a gun to my head or or a tiger is approaching me or I look into the sky and there's a nuclear bomb falling down, I my first thought is like. Time to check out. Like I'm, I'm out. Like I would rather, you know, flip. If I had a button that says "kill Alex," I would just push it. Right. Because and and then I was like, I feel like that's that's the ultimate cowardice in a way. I mean, I don't mean that suicide is. I mean that that my impulse to avoid terror is a fault. You know, like yeah. not that I, I don't know. I mean, I'm not making a case for wrestling a tiger. <laughs> but maybe your cowardice in the face of these overwhelming things is like you saying, I don't want to be in that situation yeah. because the scariest thing in the world is letting myself or my fellow man down. So I would rather, like you said, you'd rather hit a button and explode <laughs> if a crocodile got too close. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to go out going, get this crocodile off of me! <laughs> so yeah. maybe you are like manlier in a sense. That's a nice like, way of Or at least about less it. crocodilian. Well, because I think... Y- you know, and I think I think it's like uh, I think it's as I like with dreams. I think that these ridiculous scenarios that occasionally pop into my head are like metaphors for regular life, and that like I'm afraid of hardship. Can I I tell you something? I yeah. I confess this to you at dinner, but I'm de- and I'm so deeply ashamed of it. I feel like I have to tell them. I don't remember you saying anything shameful. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you blocked it out. You you categorized it as talking about movies because technically it is. But the truth is, at the end of Aliens. When Ripley oh, right. goes back for Newt, I would not do that. Yeah. Every time I watch Aliens and Ripley's like, the car shows up and they're like, all right, we made it through Aliens. It was even harder than Alien. Yeah. You're, you're, you're alive. Yeah. A bunch of us are alive. The robot's alive. The kid's gone. Yeah. It's a bum- bummer about Newt. But I mean, she's gone. Yeah. I mean, she was taken by multiple aliens yeah. aliens with acid for blood and for spit 
with, <laughs> with second mouths designed for punching you while biting you, Sorry. tails <laughs> that are like that can cut a car in half, yeah. armor for skin, no eyes, <laughs> gee gear designed spinal cord bodies, yeah. a mysterious backstory <laughs> that trans. Progresses the cosmos. <laughs> transgresses? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> yeah, stick with it. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It transgresses yeah. the cosmos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, heartbeat or not, based on what I've seen in all my alien adventures, I'm not going back. Yeah, I don't think that's shameful. Well, like, I would say this. I think I, think I, it's I, I wouldn't shameful. go back either. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back either. But, but, and I, and I kind of believe that anyone who isn't a parent. And even them, those people are probably lying if they say they would go back. Like, I mean, like, there's a, there's a point at which... Parents just a... become liars by default. Like, they, <laughs> I, I've talked to the, all of them, and they, <laughs> they, they, they go like, yeah, you can't be a parent and tell the truth anymore because yeah. the, tr- the biological truth is sometimes you want to strangle your child. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, right, you're right, not yeah. a real parent. Like, right, if you right. don't, sometimes won't be like, I'm sorry you were born, I want to murder you right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, you can't say that out loud because some people do, and it's, like, always a bummer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but 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 and so, and, so and, and, and I'm saying like it's good like that is the good when, when you become a parent you turn in your honesty is the best policy yeah. ca- card like from now on honesty is not the best policy because yeah, yeah, yeah. honestly you might murder your child I mean I do think like I, I if I imagine I, I can't imagine what it's like and a part of me wants to believe that if you have a kid like it suddenly it is a different situation no it does like, it I is mean, different they say I that mean, too yeah. they love the kids <laughs> right. they love them yeah they don't but just I, want to kill I them I mean but like for somebody to be, yeah, I, I, it's hard. sometimes you want to kill them. They're they literally come into this world from inside of us, yeah. not not unlike the alien yeah. monster. <laughs> right, right, right. And when I say we, I mean me personally. <laughs> I have to go through this and live with it. Uh, the, the, it. It's just like they're they're you know but they're wonderful and we do it for them and they're great. <laughs> and so I, I, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb. I think they're the future. Oh yeah, the children are. And I think I I that, that's why that's Do you really what's amazing that? about them. Yeah, I think they're going to be less racist and more productive and better with eye devices and uh, <laughs> and and it's just going to turn everything right around. <laughs> I, 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 I predict the same number of wars and Guantanamo is still open by this it's time like, next <laughs> thousand years. Except dogs will be s- f- more fucked up because like, they'll just be like, like dogs will just all limp. Like even golden retrievers, they'll just like they'll, they'll like have no well, hips because yeah, they're all inbred, right? Isn't yeah, that the problem with yeah, dogs? because yeah. we can't stop loving them. It's to a death we don't talk about that. that no, much. we don't. Yeah. We are we are deforming these uh, these animals for our pleasure. Dan, am I doing an okay job so far? With the I think you're doing great. I think, I, I, because no, no, I wasn't fishing for. Because I'm I'm like sweating and I kind of feel like no, I'm gonna the, shit my pants a lights. little bit. Don't, oh, don't. it's the lights. Go go for it. You said. Go, I'm gonna, oh, I'm, go, he wants you to shit your pants. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You're right. Yeah, do it. if you're gonna do it for anybody, do it for yeah. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> the go for it guy. <laughs> go for it. <laughs> You know, in pants. that in that same vein of the like cowardice of being attacked by a tiger, although almost by definition, it's like doesn't even count as cowardice if you get scared if a tiger is going to eat you, right? I mean, that's like, but but in that same well, they way, say half the time it turns out that's what you're supposed to do in a bear attack. You're supposed to you're supposed to lay there limp so the bear stops right. fucking with you, goes away. That's like the bravest although thing you, you can heard, do. Have you heard some of the like there, there's I, there were like new instructions about bears? And oh, it depends they come on out, what they kind of bear okay, it guys, is. new instructions about yeah, bears. It depends on what kind of bear it is, and it depends how the bear's acting. But I think the universal thing is if they start eating you, you have to fight. Right. <laughs> like, right, if you're right, lying right. there playing dead and it starts eating you, and then you're you like, don't, okay, don't, you called my yeah. bluff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you don't, yeah. Right, right. And then the bear's going to be like, I know, and I don't care. I, I'd prefer if you kept playing dead, but yeah. I will also enjoy eating you while you scream. But th- there is that thing about animals, like, you can trick them into thinking that, they, 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 like, uh, I, I, I think in that movie Fast, Cheap, and Out of Control, there's a lion tamer. Have you seen that? Anybody seen yeah. that? Yeah. But the lion tamer's talking about how, like, the real way lion taming works, although I've heard different versions of this, is that the lions don't understand that this puny human is, is puny. Right. Because they, they, he's acting with such confidence and making so much noise that the lions are like, well, this guy must be able to kick my ass. <laughs> so, but just like in the same way that like somebody comes up to you with enough confidence and you might be like, oh, I guess you're in charge. Yeah. And, That's like uh, those shitty hypnotists. <laughs> yeah. 
where they're like, I'm going to tell you what I do, and I'm going to explain it to you very confidently. What I do is a technique called mind control. Mind control is something you've experienced. If you've ever been on the freeway, you've experienced what's called highway hypnosis. Highway hypnosis. I'm never going to say the word um, and I'm never going to say the word er. I'm never going to exhibit any insecurity sleep. Uh, he slept. He did it. It really worked. <laughs> I, 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 I did what I... I, I, I I had this Armenian plumber uh, neighbor that I loved, and he like won one of those comedy contests, and we went to the Ice House in Pasadena because he won a comedy contest, which means they're papering the house, and it was literally just us. It was just me and my plumber neighbor and his wife and a couple friends in an empty comedy club, and a guy came out and did that routine, and I had seen that guy's act, not him personally, but I, the, 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 those hypnosis acts are all kind of the same. Um, and uh, the uh, I had to go up because nothing. It was like I was so uncomfortable for the guy. Yeah. Like so, I had to like. I was like, he does the test. I want you to hold your hands above your head. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you cannot unlock your hands. You're trying very hard. That the power of cement. The power of cement. On the count of three, I want you to. And I was like, I I have to like be one of the guys because he's not gonna have anybody. Because oh, you mean you 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 played along? Cause yeah. You didn't cause let him I, down. I, I was yeah. I, because. I, because my friend is a, is a Lebanese Armenian plumber, like he's a, he's not, he's a no nonsense guy. He's not hypnotizable. Right, right. right. <laughs> he came here because you actually duped him into thinking that he won a contest. I'm the only professional entertainer in the room, except for the hypnotist, who is bombing. <laughs> so I I was like, I can't. What? Oh boy! <laughs> it's like glue up here. <laughs> And he's like, all right, what's your name? Uh, Dan, if, unless you tell me otherwise. <laughs> and then I sat, and I was fucking, 45 minutes later, me alone on stage, rapping, like singing, <laughs> pretending I think I'm naked. <laughs> whoa, whoa, I'm naked, whoa. No, 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 you're not naked anymore. <laughs> <laughs> My clothes appeared out of nowhere. Just like, just my fear of watching a, a fucking horrible act yeah. but maybe that's just maybe disintegrate a... in front of my eyes. And I, I was just like, and for real, it was racist too because he was, he said, he, he, like, he was, you know, the, the, the hypnotist acts, they're like, they're not straight out of the, like, pages of fucking Jezebel, you know? Like, they're, they're like... Oh, I thought you meant you, you, cooperating with the hypnotist was racist, and I was trying to figure out how. Well, so. it was. It became oh, racist. Oh, it was. Okay. Because at one point he said, like, it's, it's kind of an '80s craft, the road hypno no. guy. <laughs> you know, he comes to your high school. Like, this is a thi- you know the guy's in the suit, and yeah. it kind of smells like your grandpa's sleeping yeah. bag, and your uh, <laughs> the. I still I still cannot get that odor out of my head. Uh, <laughs> so he he really protected the country, but also, oh my God. Uh-oh. No, all right. <laughs> the, the, he, like, so he, at one point he said, the person I'm talking to right now, the person I'm talking to right now, I have my hand on your shoulder, I'm talking to you right now. When I say the word go, you are going to realize that you are a world-class rap artist. A world-class rap artist. You are a world-class rap artist. You are a rapper. However... You are a Chinese. Uh, you are a Chinese person. Right, right, right. That's what he did. Yeah. So it's like it's like yeah. double fucking like because right. you yeah. gotta commit. Like the rap I yeah. can do without without. <laughs> but yeah. it's like he what wants do do? me to do gibberish Chinese. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. Right. I, like, I, and he's gonna stand there in his fucking suit right. and plays a play a beat, which he did. Well, I fucking did rap right. gibberish Chinese. Yeah. Absolutely no way to do it t- yeah, tastefully. Yeah, it's, no it's, way. It's cancel Colbert. There's no way around yes, it. Yeah. There's no fucking way. Yeah. I don't unless you speak actual Chinese yeah. and even then someone's gonna go, This seems racist because yeah. admit it, sometimes they seem racist when they speak real Chinese. Oh, to us. Very, yeah, very, very the progressive yeah. white people. We go like like, Jesus, that's your national anthem? <laughs> Well, did, did we talk about this? That, that um, I, I, I hope I'm not exposing like a, 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 a secret or anything, but uh, 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 Mandarin Chinese. Um, I, my, my wife is it's delicious. Uh, <laughs> my, my wife is Taiwanese, and I discovered, and then and at the time, uh, a friend of mine was also uh, 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 dating a, a woman who was uh, Taiwanese, and he and he had discovered this too, and he's black. Um, there's a thing that people say in Chinese that sounds like the N word. And they say it a lot, like, uh, 
So they'll be like, I'm not, not, not I put myself in a corner where I'm going to right. imitate speaking Chinese. Yeah. But, but you know, it'd be like, nigga, uh, 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 nigga, uh, nigga. And uh, <laughs> they say it a lot. <laughs> And I've heard stories about people getting in trouble for it because, like, you're, you're, uh, you're uh, in an uh, elevator. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But um, uh, and but they all the best is though that it comes out when people are speaking uh, like a mix of Chinese and English. So I did witness uh, uh, a friend of my uh, of a family friend of my wife's saying, uh, uh, "Oh, and uh, this nigga." Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because she was like, "This." Uh. Yeah. Wow. It really uh, means uh. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. What does it mean? You're, that. that? Yeah. So it's like uh, <laughs> that. That's that's a that is a. Yeah. That's like a that's like a the world's lowest stakes, b- but ultimately most satisfying <laughs> Twilight Zone. Like. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, it could. Uh, what was that? Yeah, I'm like whoo. Yeah. What's uh, what's great is that is that is that none of that involves any white people. Like I can just yeah. you just hang back and go. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> they still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they even know it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know that there's an actual white Christmas that's not on December 25th that we only celebrate together? <laughs> <laughs> on a golf course made of mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, so I got into the uh, elevator, which took a really long time to get there. Oh, yeah, that's where we were. Uh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have been great. <laughs> and, and I had experience it taking a really long time. I was like, this, this is notable. And then I got in the elevator, and then it went down one, you know, you get in on the 23rd floor, it goes down to 22, stops. Like, you have that relief, and then it's like, okay, okay this is why it took a long time. This is, like, it must be peak hotel hours. Yeah. My hotel is a five-year-in-a-row winner of the Four Diamond Award. Whoa, hey. I, that's 20 diamonds total. Thank you, Adam Goldberg. Uh... I told that to Erin, and she said, do you think that a number of diamonds matter? Like, she said, does the, does the best Western in Temecula, do they win the two-diamond award? Oh, right, right. Sorry, Temeculans. Uh, <laughs> sorry, best Westerners. Um, the, uh, the answer, I think, is no. I'm going to guess when I see four diamonds that much like 4-H, it represents four pillars maybe of the hospitality industry, like uh, luxury, safety, pillow size. <laughs> Parking. <laughs> Those are the four diamonds. Anyways, HBO. Yeah. So I got in the elevator. I was like, bruh, 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 bruh. It's everybody getting in. At a certain point, like, and, and I already fucked up the story because you're gonna you're gonna imagine a crowded elevator. But that's the funny thing you have to you have to realize. It's not a crowded elevator. It's like t- a gangly kid got in on 22, and then like another kid, like like little tiny kids, like they're going to the pool. Like they, they're they're like like pubescently averse to taking up space or hurting anybody. Like they're, they're you could you could you could you could convince them to eat. Uh, boogers, like they still, they're just like. I hope nobody talked to me. I probably don't order. need any convincing. Not, <laughs> right? They probably still think they're great. Like on a, uh, I don't know how old these kids are. I'm just taking a while. Like 23. Oh, yeah, so, yeah they, they, they eat boogers. Yeah. So they, so, so they got, so, like, so it's, it's a, it's a very empty elevator, and uh, so I just, I'm already, I'm already over setting this up, but I just, like, the elevator opened on floor like 17, and this woman who was like, I guess, like you know my mom's age like i don't know put her at 60 something but she she you know still got some uh pep in her step like she's she 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 just like the elevator doors slowly opened and then and I, i'm just standing there and then she poked her head around the door and then she and then she like looked at, and she went oh that's it that's the story <laughs> like she just it was like what f- 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 fuck you what, what the fuck i waited longer and then she didn't get in the elevator she got in, oh. and then and then she just stood there. And just like, 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 wait, you're that oh, rich? Sh- You've never been with other people in an elevator? <laughs> like, it's just, it's just a, a, for her second time in an elevator, and the first one was to her beach house yeah. from the beach. <laughs> like, she was like, she was like lifted by a she parasail wanna, she up to be a thing. Exposed to other humans. Uh, yeah, she was, she was like, oh, uh, oh, like, uh, like, like, there's people in here. Yeah, what the hell is that? And then so, so I was like, all right, that's fucked up. And yeah. then, <laughs> and then, a, and then another guy got in who I don't. I don't think was with her, but he should have been. 
but he was he was the same age and he had one of those hats that's like a hat like a like a like a TV show tourist hat like a hat like a fishing hat kind of oh, yeah, yeah. like a sun hat uh, for a guy and uh, and he had a short sleeve polo shirt he was like he was like her, her age and he was holding this uh, despicable me minion plushie oh great yeah. <laughs> And he and he got in like really same floor, but not with her. We're heading down. Heading down. He leaves his hotel room holding a. Yeah, he was on his way animal. to see the movie, or <laughs> or <laughs> or protest a different one. <laughs> Box trolls. Yeah. Uh, they, That's why he, the cops were there. And he got into the elevator, and he had, and, and 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 he went. <sighs> and and I wrote it down. I wrote down exactly the way he said it. Because he was saying, I mean, it's like it's like you're speaking out loud in an elevator. You're communicating with us. Like it's not a time for you to, like, explore yourself. You know, like 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 like, like I, I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm not I'm not like like if he didn't know that I was he was going to be sending me emotional messages, like he, he then he's insane. So he 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 got, he got on the elevator with his plushy doll and he stared at the floor and he was shaking his head and he and he and he and he, and he said, "This is insane, insane, insane." <laughs> And, and everyone in the elevator, me and the two kids, were like, what? Are, what? Yeah. Like, it did take some time for the elevator to come to the 23rd floor, yes. But and then it? it took more time for them, I guess. But wait a minute, it would have stopped for them, right? Yeah. They couldn't have waited any longer than them pushing the down. They must have pushed the down button when I got into the fucking thing. They didn't have to wait. I'm assuming he was talking about how long he had to yeah. wait. Is it possible they're reacting to the same thing? That like, there's if we all got transported, like we're able to look in the elevator, like you didn't, you somehow missed that there was a big pile of feces on the floor or something. Like, that, like, like was something happening that you were oblivious to? Maybe like yeah, maybe before we got there, the elevator doors opened, and there was like. <laughs> Three people <laughs> taking a shit, yeah. and oh. then and then they went. We're doing this because of you, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 you can't do anything about it. No. And, and they're like, we can. We're gonna call security. And they slapped the phone on their hand and said, "Fuck you! The door's closing." <laughs> and it went away. And they're like, "Fuck! This is fucking insane." This guy's taking shits. We're calling security. No. Uh, security. We um we there's three guys that took a shit. They said it's it's because of us. They slapped our phone. They're on their way up uh, to 11. They're on their way to uh, down to 11. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for informing us. We're going to stop, reroute the elevator, bring it back up to you so you can confront them. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. He says it's he says another he says the elevator's coming back and we'll be able to confront the guys that are taking a shit. Boom. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm sorry. This is insane. It's insane. Okay. That all makes sense now. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what happened. It's like they yeah. were kind of disappointed, yeah. <laughs> even th that we had done nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then the hotel guy <laughs> that calls you the cab. Yeah. He go, can I get a cab? They go, okay, I can get you a cab. And then he he tried to do the whistle thing because he's seen it in movies, and it's like yeah. he couldn't whistle, and it, and it was like, and he, but he, he, did, didn't, he didn't like do it until he did it. Like he, he acted like he had whistled right, but it was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then he just waved, and I was like, it's fucking, it's 2014, and it's not New York. We're on a fucking veranda, and there's a line of cabs, and he's going, <laughs> 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 and, and the thing pulled up, and then while I was pulling up, he did it, I have a pet peeve about this. I don't understand, someone explained this to me, if you work in the hospitality industry, or you, or, or I don't know. Like, uh, what, what, what's with the third degree? Uh, from that moment forward, I'll, I, like, like, why does the guy got to know where you're going? What is he? What is he? Why is he oh, still? The, the guy oh, who wait, where are you going? I said I'm going to. Uh, it's a comic book store. Uh, it's a comic book store. I don't want to have this conversation. Yeah, it's, it's by the Guitar Center. Like I, was, I, was, I thought he meant like you know because you can. Well, where are you going? Because there's three classes of uh, cab uh, experience here at the Hilton. Um, if you want a level five, you you know that's that's with a twenty mile radius. You got, I mean, if, you, if there's some practical reason why you're asking me that question, yeah. then the information you need is that it's near the Guitar Center. I guess will that help you? Because I'm also assuming that you're asking this question because you have a fucking encyclopedic knowledge of goddamn Los Angeles, so I can just tell you a fucking place that's been here for thirty years, and you can go. Beep, 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 beep. Okay, all right. Here's why. Here's here's 
here's here's why I asked. This is all gonna pay off. But it's, I was like, I kind of, I was like, the guitar. It's over by the guitar center. He's like, the, you're going to the guitar center. Like he's like mad that I was like going to the guitar. And I'm like, I'm not going to the guitar center. It's over there. And he's like, like the Hollywood Bowl. I'm like, no, I don't play guitar in a show. <laughs> I don't like. I like, think he was thinking that I was like. Like maybe he was wait, thinking. Wait a minute. If this guy's a rock star, maybe I can save him a trip to this guitar store he's talking about, and just send him to the bowl. Or I'll run and get the guitar for him. And before you know it, it's goodbye valet, hello concierge. Wait, did, right, he, like, did he think? Wait, wait. You said guitar center, and he's like, "You mean the Hollywood Bowl?" Did he think? Yeah, the Hollywood well, he kinda, well, I is think he, the guitar well, he was, center. It was like the guitar center. Oh, yeah, that's what he. Yeah, that's what, yeah the guitar center. Yeah, and he thought. So he thinks I'm just like walking like a mork or something, and I'm going like, like I'm going to where the guitars are. Oh, 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 well, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't call a cab. If I didn't know I'm going, where to go, I'm going to the to the laugh factory. You're going to a stand a stand up comedy place. Yes. Yeah. He didn't understand that's the name of a place. Yeah. Tell you what, uh, the friendship place. No, <laughs> my wife and he I, <laughs> we are separated. I go to I go to happy place. No, a guy. I know what you're talking about. Take him to the noodle noodle comer. <laughs> <laughs> Because he knows three of those places and one gives him a kickback. I'd say, I say, but motherfucker, I'm, go- I'm going to work, man. And I, I live here. I, I'm wearing a shirt that says Los Angeles because I own this city. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I am having yeah. a brief <laughs> separation from my lover. Right. We are... Wedding. It's, it seems like... Some- Eddie? Like I believe yeah. down yeah, and yeah, then yeah. the kid from Powder. Right. <laughs> but I can't see it. I believe Good. you. I'm poor. It's he, we're under heat lamps. Yeah. Are they hotter than usual because of the cameras? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, at first, at first, I thought that was a ridiculous question, but that it actually well, I mean, turned out no, it's not. Yeah, no, maybe no. they needed more light. The cameras yeah. drink up the light. No, I, it up. I, 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 it's always it's it's a it's a thing. It's, it's lights and they're hot. Thing. Yeah, I think yeah. last time I was here, I was drunker. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, it, I mean. Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm fr- I'm like you know d- on the verge of panicking about how hot you are. No, no, just generally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Throw I didn't that like go feet, for it, guy. When he was saying go for it to shit your pants, but uh, yeah, maybe I t- should t- go for it yeah, to panic. Now that he's pants, go yeah. for it, guy. Yeah. we know two things. We like him, and he's gonna go too far. Yeah. <laughs> Because his his primate instinct for it the th- comes in threes. He's gonna at the at the worst time get it out of your system. I'm. It's Adam. Oh, it's Adam. Yeah. 
Oh, that was Adam all along? Oh, Adam's the go-for-it guy? Wow. <laughs> all right, okay. Whoa! Well, well, all right! <laughs> comes right up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He went. He went for it. Yeah. I like the. He practiced yeah, what was, he preaches. Yeah. That, was, that was good. Sometimes you gotta go for it. <laughs> it's fitting that we got a glimpse of. Did you like that in Ireland? Did you like your glimpse of Adam Goldberg? Uh, yeah. I expect your wife asked who's Adam Goldberg because I mentioned oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's that. Adam Goldberg. Uh, and uh, and she said, "Who's Adam Goldberg?" I said, "He's." He's the Hamburglar. Yeah. <laughs> he did. This is, that was the metaphor, yeah. 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 Every mythology needs, like, a test. <laughs> like, 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 Harmontown's a place for nerds. It's a place where you can't be bullied. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got Asperger's. Everyone's got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is afflicted. Yeah. Well, that, that was. I, I it's thought not that was about if Asperger's was just <laughs> meant, meant you were charming. <laughs> everyone would want it. Yeah. Remember, it's it, it is a, a technically a disease. I got, I got to say, I thought that was pretty beautiful. That little uh, across the stage move with the. Sort no, of it was good, and they liked it because it was like it was a pop. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah was it was quick. A quick pop. It was it was graceful. It was quick. And it they was... liked it because they like him. Uh, 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 uh. And, and and he and he got dressed up tonight. Yeah, he had a jacket on. He, he knew he knew more about tonight than I did. <laughs> so in on the screen, there's a ticker, a news ticker, and the news ticker, it it's buggy, like it stops, it stalls out. So, like it, it the, what it said on the news ticker was, small volcanic eruption in Iceland, but no ash yet. French screenwriter Jean Claude Carrière also named as one of the recipients. <laughs> Period. Like, it just stopped there. I was like, <laughs> I thought that was funny. That's good, yeah. So I wrote it down. Yeah. Because otherwise, as, as dumb as that was, imagine me try, uh, telling a story about that. Well, and then it was a thing. And it was a guy, and I said, like, a shoe, but then the shoe stopped, and then the thing. Uh, 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 Bruce Willis wears fake feet in Die Hard. Bruce Willis <clears throat> wears fake feet in Die Hard, everybody. <laughs> You s- you sent me a screen grab. You did. You, your friend tipped you off, right? You had like yeah, a movie yeah, yeah. Buff, and right? it makes sense if you think about it for a second. I mean, he's running around. The the actor Bruce Willis is running around bare feet on a on a on a set that w- is an actual building. Yeah. I guess there's a limit to how much they can scrape up all the broken glass and nails. Ruben right. sent a screen grab of a uh, of of Bruce Willis is like landing on his side yeah. in the shoot the glass scene, probably. Yeah, I think it's after. I think he's he's. Uh, Jumping away from the helicopter on the roof or something, but yeah. yeah. But yeah, he and lands on his. And he's it's like it's 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 insane yeah. how like it's like wow he's just wearing like little feet shaped shoes. Yeah. <laughs> like they have a little cuff on them. His pants are all different. Yeah. It's like it's very and a little like, a little ankle knob. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like it's weird when you look at it. You're like, oh, now let's talk about all the weird things that they think make a foot look like a foot. <laughs> Like, like, like what they think is important. Uh, probably there probably wasn't a podiatrist in the bunch of them. It was probably just like really <laughs> awesome special effects guys going like, "What about that bone knobby thing?" <laughs> <laughs> Show me your foot, Bruce. Uh, yeah, see you in the distance. I think about when I see your foot. Like, and they never like looked anything yeah. up. And Maybe so it was just, was like, he's really just wearing like foot yeah. foot shaped yeah. shoes. What if he was wearing them because Bruce Willis's feet are all fucked up? Oh yeah. What if Bruce Willis has all fucked up feet. You ever see you ever see Vince Vaughn's thumb? Yeah. Yeah. He's a fucking Google monster. Yeah. You're a fucking monster. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a there's a uh, I I went I went googling once for Vince Vaughn's thumb. And I discovered that there's just, <laughs> there's all these results about deformed there's a, there's celebrities. There's a rabbit hole. It's actually kind of uplifting because it's like yeah. basically you can't swing a cat in a room full of <laughs> celebrities without hitting one that is has yeah. one fucked up part of their body, yeah. even the ones that are famous for being sexy and yeah, normal yeah, yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah. which is great, actually. Yeah. That's a great thing it's to It's like learn. if you ever noticed that Jennifer Lawrence's knee like comes out sideways yeah. from her leg. Like, it's great <laughs> because it's yeah. like we do feel like, oh, we look at all these magazines. All that shit is like, oh, it's all fake. you know. It's like, yeah. And yeah, there's a lot of people with way better asses than you, but... Uh, uh, they they got to fucked up. There's something fucked up, man. Their yeah. their kidney's gonna explode or something. <laughs> They're monsters like you, because you just can't. It's just a crapshoot. Yeah. It's just like a, it's a, like a big fucking like, 
you just be, you're just building a person from scratch every oh. time. It's like there's never nothing wrong with yeah. them. Yeah, the most the most the most beautiful people in the world are still disgusting meat sacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. gross blobs of fucking like chaotic flesh. It's, it's a bad any scene. minute now could just explode <laughs> in any part of it, and that part of it is like technically like some absorbed sibling that they'll never know they had. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were Owen, Owen about Wilson that, right? has a fucking tooth on his shoulder <laughs> that, that like kind of is like, like are you going to finish that? Wasn't, wasn't I talking to you about my, 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 my wife and I were watching uh, this old documentary about, uh, about uh, it's called I Am Not a Freak. You can watch it on uh, YouTube. And there's this uh, Chinese guy who has his twin's head on his neck. Like and it's like sort of a head, but the thing that's the most a head I is, I, I would like it. to look at it like his his body is on his twin's neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a well, if so, 21st they, century the, the doctors killed him. <laughs> they uh, they got rid of him and left. Oh, the they twin. cut they cut off. Yeah, the yeah. Thing, yeah. But the thing that was really freaky is that <laughs> when he <laughs> you guys, I'm not blaming you, but I mean, if you had a face on your neck. It wouldn't be an awe yeah. the day it was removed. Like yeah. you would, it's he not get, when he when the when the primary face go you know moved his lips, the other face moved its lips. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it was cute. I I feel like that's, that's an old thing, or maybe that's something that happens in the world's most populous country or something. <clears throat> but the the when I was a kid, there was a guy with that exact. Uh, 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 <laughs> situation. Experience. <laughs> uh, it happening. might be. It might be the same superpower? guy. Superpower. <laughs> um, I don't know how they view it over there, but but the the, the, the there was a, the same guy. Maybe he was like a hippie back then. Maybe he was like, "Hey man, I'm 23. Let's fuck it up." What Wait, do you mean? Think? That's why what do you think, Pablo? <laughs> oh, I'm a, I agree. That's why he grew the. <laughs> and, that, and that now you saw the documentary. He was like, "Get it off! <laughs> it, its eyes follow me everywhere." Well, it, but it's, it is. It's it's scary and fascinating because the reason that was there and the reason that the lips were in sync was that that's how identical twins work. You start as the same being and yeah. split. So if you split improperly, well, I don't want to say improperly, differently. <laughs> if you split differently, then you could still have like, the same brain was controlling two heads that were not supposed to, or were. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, twins are monsters. There. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's what's weird. I, I don't. I don't see anybody talking about this. How the uh, fertility mm. revolution is like. Lots, are, lots and lots of you, twins you, and triplets. You and now just meet. Like we pr- probably everybody in this room knows three people yeah. who have had twins. But you know what is is not more common? I think if I'm not wrong about this is is uh, identical twins because fertility drugs make you likelier to have multiple. Yeah, because they and that's what's uncomfortable <coughs> too. But but also kind of uplifting because hey, this is what life is about. But like yeah, they. I was just learning this from our uh, friend Clay at work that his his oh, wife, yeah. his wife just had twins a year ago, and it's like I, I never got that. I thought they were like I don't know. I just thought it was like they were injecting the mother with like. Super, super fertility juice or something, and it just made her so fertile that there were like kids growing everywhere. <laughs> like, 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 I'll take that sperm cell, that sperm cell. Right. But they're actually they're they're implanting, you know, blastocysts or whatever zygotes or uh, the, in the in the lining of the uh, womb, anticipating that most of them won't stick. Yeah, Ugh. but I mean that's 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 yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, a lot, a lot of them don't. I mean, not, yeah. not everybody has twins. Yeah. Like, and that's why you get those like octomoms and stuff. Yeah, <laughs> those yeah, octomoms. Yeah, all those octomoms. Yeah, is because sometimes they'll like they'll keep pushing it, you know. And as we have established on this show, uh, doctors uh, have absolutely no. Uh, they're identical to serial killers, but they had a support <laughs> system. <laughs> you can find a doctor that'll be like, yeah. well, maybe if we put nine babies in there. Right. <laughs> I have a fi- I feel like you got a ten percent chance, so nine babies will equal one baby. And right. they're like, "It's all nine babies." And he's like, "Well, call the press. I'm an amazing <laughs> doctor." <laughs> well, <clears throat> you spent all the time wondering if you could do it. You didn't stop to think if you should. If you should. If you should. <laughs> I didn't have a table to Goldblum. Uh, speaking of Jeff Goldblum, let's bring out our Jeff Goldblum, Spencer Crittenden. <laughs> The 
the the usual gauntlet I run up here is now occupied by camera obstacles. Yeah, it's even well, more difficult. It's uh, that's so, the price of success. <laughs> I guess it's the price of success. <laughs> How are you guys doing? What were you talking about, doctors? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Elevators? Yeah, doctors, elevators, twins, gangs. Twins, gangsters. I mean, I, like you, am very Gangster preoccupied twins? by uh, the With Minecraft. Uh, I want to get back to the <laughs> Minecraft. The Minecraft discussion? The ME storage. Oh, yeah, let me tell you something about ME storage. Those stack sizes don't cap at 64. You're, you're, you're fucking I know it's with a me. joke to you guys, but I'm fucking. <laughs> it's I'm, no I'm, joke. I'm not going out after the show. I don't care how many of you want to talk to me about how amazing I am. I'm going back to a hotel room to play Minecraft <laughs> because of how exciting it is for me that the stack sizes have no cap. It's great. It's like uh, it's like the Internet of Things on Minecraft. Is this a slightly heightened Spencer today, or am I imagining heightened? things? I mean, heightened, it, yeah, like it's the opposite of heightened. Yeah, but, if but, anything. but you uh, heighten your you mean, Spencerness, which is not itself a loud and. You mean just like being a, like a giant douche or whatever? Yeah, a giant douche. Yeah. No, Spencer, I think he means have it. you uh, elevated yourself? Yeah. Have you gotten extra high tonight? <laughs> well, <laughs> oh yeah, I guess that might be what I'm. I don't know how of. many people know this, but I was in Pittsburgh over the weekend, and you can't take weed on a plane. Oh, oh. so you shut <laughs> up. <laughs> you just gotta go for it. <laughs> S- smuggling, go for it. Wait, did uh, I tell you this, so story? This, this This friend of mine was telling me about how to bring weed on a plane, and I thought he was joking, and then years later found out that he was serious. He's just like, I just take and just throw it all over my bag. I just, like, t- tear it up and just throw little bits of weed all over my suitcase. That's and then really I- fucking genius, man. That wouldn't come up in the scanners, like, at all. It would just be, oh, he's got lint in his bag. Yeah, well, that's what he said, and I, I, years later I found out he wasn't joking. I thought he was doing a bit. No, that's blowing my mind. Like... <laughs> Yeah, and then I was like, "But then, don't you have to like, we, like, you have to empty out your entire suitcase and shake out all?" And he's like, "Well, yeah." <laughs> and then you oh, gather well, it up on the floor of your hotel, like what? I, when I was, I, you do some weird things, man. When I was in the <laughs> Pittsburgh hotel, I, I, I ended up finding some, and uh, I, I didn't, you know, there's, they always say it's going to cost you money if you smoke in a hotel room and stuff, and I don't want to do that. Uh, pay money, I mean. So what do you like, mean? What, what, do you, what do you mean by that? If you smoke in a hotel room, like a they cigarette? charge you two hundred dollars. If you smoke in a hotel oh, room, they, they can say smell that. the. Yeah, I. Why? How? This is very common knowledge. It's all over. There's but signs But you don't everywhere. smoke cigarettes. Like what? What is it? It says smoking. It doesn't say if you smoke cigarettes. It says smoking. Uh huh. <laughs> I, it, smoking means smoking. I don't know how else to put it. You could smoke any number of things. And it would all technically be banned by the language of these signs. <laughs> I mean, it's not... All, I don't know why... The, it's, it says no smoking. Anyway, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom, and I'm like, well, I don't want any of this smell to linger, so I, I, I grab up all the towels, and I put them, I put them outside of my room. A, or outside of... Not the room, the bathroom. And then I'm like, well, fuck, there's this bathrobe hanging here. And so I put that in the closet. And then I'm like, well, what about this? The, what about the shower curtain? And so I start taking the shower curtain down. And it's like 18 rings that have to be individually unthinged. And then I ended up like scratching the curtain rod because it's painted and it's not meant to do that. And I put that in the thing. And then, you know, because my theory is water vapor is going to absorb these scent particles because water does absorb scent particles. If you so don't it's have not Febreze, just a theory. yeah, if you don't have Febreze, if you spray a water bottle, that's better than not doing anything. So applying that step in macro, I turn on the on the the shower, getting it nice and hot, getting it all foggy and stuff, and I start uh, enjoying some of this stuff, and it's great. But then it gets all steamy, and I'm getting like real sweaty, and it's all getting slick, and like everything's this nice <laughs> tile, and it's all slippery, and I'm like slipping around, and and I got the lighter wet, and I got my hands all wet, and the pipes all wet, and I'm like, well, fuck, I gotta dry this out, and there's like no towels anywhere. <laughs> Because they're all outside of the room, and I'm like slipping on the tile floor, 
And it's like three in the morning. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's like See, you, went, you, you, you went into the bathroom at the hotel and you used a fogger. Was that is that what you called it? Like no, I turned on I turned on the shower to hot water, so it made all sorts of steam and fog to mask. Because the, those wa- that water vapor would then absorb the w- the, the smell particles, uh-huh. and then when it dissipated and recondensed, were you? Vaping or just smoking? No, just smoking. Okay, the, yeah. and so you and so like you thought probably correctly. I would never imply otherwise that that a bunch of steam would like yeah it would do what a bong does, which is the 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 water would like that's my theory yeah. latch on to the things that either stink or yeah. hurt or whatever. Yeah, okay, all right. So I, I just had to catch up because I thought I thought maybe you were like using some kind of volcanic like <laughs> I thought I thought you had brought some it's kind of like vapor. I was like boiling thing, the then, weed in the shower. Yeah. Uh, all right, so it's so 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 it's all slippery and there's no towels in yeah. here. Are you naked? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> well, I'm mostly I'm mostly naked. Yeah, I'm just in my underwear because I don't want to. I, I it's hot enough wearing no clothes. I mean, God yeah. forbid, I, I would be miserable in clothes. So I mean, that's pretty much. Yeah. Then I took a shower and then I I noticed I looked like a crazy person after I got out of the shower. <laughs> just like I think you just. You did, well, I mean, I know that you know this. You just got high and you freaked out. No, like no, a, but my skin, because all the hot water makes your skin really red, you know, and flushed. And then since I was high, I had these just like death brown circles <laughs> under my eyes. And then my eyes were just like solid red, you know? Uh-huh. And I just looked like an inhuman creature. Uh-huh. It, was, it was insane. Well, I, 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 I'm not saying you <laughs> asked me scared. to help you with this, but the next time you travel... And you want to get high in your hotel room? I will send you five two hundred dollars <laughs> and a little, a little on the top. Yeah, well, because I don't think they're talking about pot. I which know is, they are, which but they don't want you to smoke even uh, uh, in your own if home. If someone's having a bad day, they're going to charge two hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean so that's fuck them. Want, that's the price. That's why you that's tip their price. the cleaning lady. You tip the cleaning lady a lot of money. Yeah, like okay. all of it. Wait, can I? Sorry, just to backpedal a second. I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but wait, you. This story started with you saying that you can't bring weed on a plane. You can't. But then you did. So you just got some though when you got there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You so know. then, but what's the relevance of you can't bring it on the plane? It's like. It's well, not, he's not going like, to count on that. Well, oh, I, this right. was like this was. Of him to go, hey, this I'm was, Spencer. I'm here. Right. <laughs> yeah, I finally. Yeah, that this was the final triumph. It was the last night I was there. You know, like oh, it was. Okay. Okay. This was my score. You know, after a long. Yeah. By the way, okay. About I had, to, I had to buy a lighter off of a tattoo convention attendee. <laughs> <laughs> there was a tattoo convention in town. Ah. I mean, I should mention I was in I was in Pittsburgh to do this. There's this 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 like improv group called the Knights of the Arcade that do this comedy show called Art. Uh, that's what it's called. Out of this bar called the Arcade Comedy. No, it's not a bar. It's just a comedy place. Arcade Comedy. Arcade Comedy. It's not really comedy. It's more of a, it's more of a misguided attempt. Uh. And uh, they, they, you know, they put me up and they, they had me come out there and they made me this T-shirt. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. What's it say oh, there? Philadelphia. Pittsadelphia. Pits- Home of the sandwich. Home of the sandwich. It's true. They made that shirt for you. Well, they made they made a, a small run, and I think they were kind of selling them, and uh, they gave me some. They actually gave you one, Dan. I have one. Oh. So I mean, <laughs> you have you have plenty of clothes coming in. A couple in right of people. Now. Can I ask applaud. one thing about pot on a plane? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why why can't you just put it in the bottom of your sock, like like? They make you take like your loose? shoes off, but you can just walk on, like, enough pot to get you high for, like, four days. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you split it up into each arch of each foot. Yeah. Like, they're well, not, especially if you volunteer to go disgusting. through their fucking... I, I, I think it's one of those things where I'd it's like... I'd rather shove it up my ass or something. Well, all right. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like, you use a condom. It's fine. I, well, I just... Uh, okay. I do think that, look, for the most part, they're probably not looking for that. Right, so like for the most part, I bet you could get it. Through. I, I saw I was at an airport and I saw, <laughs> I saw this woman, uh, this like twenty something woman, getting turned, getting uh, escorted away, not in cuffs or anything, holding a samurai sword, <laughs> and and I and we were, I was like, what the? And I said to the guy like waiting there, I was like, what's uh, aren't you trying to bring a samurai sword on a plane? <laughs> and he said, well, no, fortunately, we stopped her before she got to security, or she would be in jail right now. Although that's an interesting distinction in itself. I, I, well, I guess yeah. it's, it's, she hasn't actually tried to go through security. She hasn't yet 
clearly, although if she's in line, that's just the same thing, isn't it? She's yeah, planning it's just on this, bringing the samurai it's sword. It's just they were ineffectual and couldn't get her there in time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So they caught her early. <laughs> also, they, air, airports <laughs> are where thought can be a crime. People get, you know, people have tweeted. You know, you always knew you couldn't make a joke. You can't say oh, yeah, hi yeah, to your yeah. friend Jack too quickly uh, at the airport, or you could get, like, thrown in prison. Yeah. Um, the... <laughs> That's true. That's, a, that's, that's true. Thinker. Yeah. But a guy a tweeted. Thinker. I think this was in the UK. Oh, yeah. uh, a, guy tw- a guy America? tweeted a joke. Uh, he about said he was going to go destroy America. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like that means party in like Britain. <laughs> yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. But he tweeted it, and after he got home from the airport and hadn't destroyed America, uh, people showed up. And oh, then they got him. Yeah. Oh, that's, At his that's home. weird. He was, like, he was like halfway into his, you know, his probably pajama bottoms around his ankles. He's like, uh, I just got back. I haven't been able to watch Why were they around his British ankles? Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> De- Debbie requests permission to do Dallas. <laughs> Uh, um, anyways, I, I, you'd rather shove it up your ass. I, I, <laughs> I, yeah, I thought man. the objective was to get it into the city. I would put yeah. it in the arch of my foot. I mean, see, for me, ultimately, the reason I would never do any of that is just because I'd be too scared. It, it, it's like I it used like to you'd be. smell it if it was in your foot. Your but feet get all hot. Who smells it? I mean, well, the it? guard, the people whose job it is to get that but stuff out that of there. I mean, are they looking for it? Many things, yeah. They want you in jail. Don't First get mad. First and foremost. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, but uh, yeah, I... I, I uh, uh, well, then his friend scattering his weed throughout his suitcase doesn't. It's I mean, fucking genius. All right, I can't. No, get no. A read when you here. have the when you have your feet, that's like a small heat engine. That's like like it's heating it up and it's making it smell danker than usual. It's like when you get in my car on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> but on your feet. All right. Well, I. I <laughs> I don't, I, I, b- before 9-11, you could travel with drugs, like, because it was like, this is a weird thing, like, before 9-11, which should have marked the point where they stopped looking for drugs entirely, <laughs> because no longer I, the we, 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 didn't, we, didn't, we didn't find the guys that did 9-11, but I, I got the impression from 9-11 that none of them got high. <laughs> Just they based on <laughs> the shit they were into. <laughs> they weren't planning in a room with like black lights. I and, feel and like maybe if they like got <laughs> higher, it wouldn't have happened. So I felt, <laughs> I, I just spe- but but suffice it to say, like definitely, okay, let's stop. Let's let's focus all the German shepherds on smelling things that can blow stuff up, yeah. and let's forget about the other stuff. Uh, I could go on and on about that, but I'm not Doug Benson. But the. Uh, <laughs> The, the 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 crazy thing is that it's before 911 when you could actually travel with more drugs like like it was I remember my friend uh, in Milwaukee like accidentally because it was just so nonchalant you would you, if you were a casual pot smoker you would have maybe a rolled up plastic bag oh, yeah. of weed in your jean pocket and you had to like put your keys in your wallet and a little plastic thing you walked through a metal detector and one time my friend went bloop and put a nickel bag of pot in this plastic thing and the security guard <laughs> was like stunned went like uh and, and he went oops and went like that and started going through the metal detectors and the person went what was that and he said it wasn't metal uh, <laughs> and it worked and then and, 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 and they went all right go like because they weren't because he's not gonna use that to hurt any did one. i, did I tell anyone you this, this story my, my, my 10th grade geometry teacher is this really uh, fascinating strange guy uh who was the last person in the world it, you would think would be telling a story like this was talking about how he got a, uh, uh, arrested for, uh, even this is a strange story to be telling your 10th grade geometry class because i think he was arrested for drunk driving and he's just telling us this story i don't know but um but he he said that he had a block of hash in his trunk <laughs> and I, I and i was at the time picturing like a like a bale of hay but i assume it was just like a little <laughs> <laughs> but um but they, they, you know, they impounded all of his shit, and he spent the night in prison. And he's just like, well, they, they're gonna find my. And this was in Alabama or something. He's like, I'm dead, you know. And then, he, he, again, this is a tenth grade geometry teacher telling his class this story. But he, 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 uh, he says that he he got out to the little place where they're handing you your, your belongings back, you know, and like checking it off. And they were like car keys, uh, you know, the <laughs> I don't know gum, <laughs> trying to trying to lead up wallet, wallet, yeah, wallet. Uh, uh, ge- uh, geology textbooks, Skittle. geological sample, Skittles tropical, <laughs> geological sample. Yeah. 
<laughs> the cops just handed him his block of weed. <laughs> <laughs> they just assumed from contextual clues that it was... <laughs> uh, looks like we put another innocent in one in here for a while. <laughs> Give him back his educational materials. <laughs> yeah. Guess guess he'll be trying to improve the country for a while. Uh, yeah, well, boy. Yeah, if you let everybody out of prison right now who was in it for doing shit that doesn't hurt anybody, yeah. uh, we would save a lot of money. Yeah. Um, and no one would get hurt. And Look it up. Google it. Get mad about it. I'm 41. I don't care. Uh, except a lot of people my age are, yeah, uh, including people I, I knew in Milwaukee. Like, I knew a guy who got busted, and, like, he, he was, he, like, ugh, they had this rule. I think they still have it. They might have just recently changed it. Like, fucking, like, like if you had a plant that counted, like, they could weigh the fucking flower pot. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's an exaggeration, but it was, like, it was something that absurd. It was, like, if you got caught with a plant of marijuana, they could, it, it was, like, they could weigh, like, it all or something. Oh, wow. It was like, yeah. wow, you've got a million pounds of it. It comes out of the ground yeah, like yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> made by the earth. Um, uh, uh, made by the earth. <laughs> <laughs> bringing it all a couple of th- uh, strands together from earlier, and I'm, I'm going to try to bring Do a couple it. things together. Chinese but I'm not people should get more it. high. Chinese people should get more high. Uh, no, uh, they'd be less racist. No I was googling. And you were talking about how cop cops. Uh, you can't find statistics online about. Mm-hmm. I think I told you the story. I was I, I was writing for uh, Key and Peele the sketch show, and I was writing a sketch. Thank you. I was writing a sketch more like, for Key than for Peele. <laughs> <laughs> I was writing a sketch that I think is I think didn't end up being on the show, or maybe it will be. I don't know. But um, uh, but because I was Google because I was writing this sketch, I was doing a little research, and I was googling. Um, how much does it cost to buy a nuclear warhead? Mm. And then I'm like, and then I'm like, uh, well, okay, it's coming up with like the price of nuclear war. I'm like, how much? Like black market nuclear war. And I'm googling all this stuff, like very specifically because I'm like, and, and then and then I got really paranoid and nervous about it. In that same like, you know, don't make a joke in the airport kind of a way. Like my Google search history is now someone trying really hard to get his hands on a nuclear warhead. Yeah. Um, so then I just googled that. Uh, I am a comedy writer in the hopes that <laughs> <laughs> that like that whoever was looking through the search would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, they're 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 like this guy's ready to pop. Like, <laughs> if you had said I'm a senator, they'd be like, maybe he's uh, um, the the uh, let's let's uh, work. For, oh, or, you know what? I, I, I'm in this habit of with them we play D and D and then we do the thing. But but uh, you you just played D and D out abroad. There's nobody. The regulars aren't here. I think you expressed to me a, 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 a very intense interest in taking a break uh, from D and D this week. Uh, I might have said something. I mean, I don't know how intense that interest was. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it was when we were doing the D and D thing. It was pretty much completely improvised, though. It was like a weird, weird thing. You know, those guys. They have a podcast. Uh, if you want to know what I was up to this weekend, they'll start podcasting it. I think one of them drops on Monday. Do they have a live arcade. video stream with like eight cameras? <laughs> no, I wouldn't even say there's sound. Well, maybe uh, it'll work systems. out for them. <laughs> Uh, the uh, well, would would you be interested in? First of all, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to meet a guest. That's a tradition that I've come to like. I want to meet somebody who's uh, who's never come to Harmon Town before. Maybe somebody that's come from far away. If is anybody like? Uh, Havana. <laughs> did you say? Did you say Havana? <laughs> Atlanta. Okay, we got Atlanta, D.C. I heard a Milwaukee. What'd you say, ma'am? Hold on, sorry. That's let me hear helpful. her first. Washington State. Washington State. Westwood. Westwood. Yes. I'm going to Universal City tomorrow. Yes, this guy's going to Universal City. Indiana. What'd you say? Indiana. Indiana. England. I, England. I mean, seemed kind of bellicose and <laughs> bad news. He's trying to win. Also, didn't sound like he had a British. Well, accent, that's. I mean, that goes without saying. Like, <laughs> English person. England. Would yeah, he would have been like him. Uh, How do you yell England in a British accent? Well, I, I you say I don't oi do afterwards. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I, see, no, I think you just—it sounds like that. You probably. might be right. Sorry, British. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, British. <laughs> hey, hey, English guy, what's your what's your name? Neil. 
Are you are you English? Yeah. Are you, okay, you? that yes was really wrong. The <laughs> Neil was. Do you, do you do you want to come up here for a second? Yeah. yeah? Go on then. Okay. Go for it. Is he coming? Okay. Let's meet a foreign friend. Yay! Hi, Neil. Nice to meet you. I so you so you yeah, grab any one of these. It's fine. Sorry about the smell of me. <laughs> I bought a new shirt today and everything, but it was like, yeah, I'm I'm going through some stuff. <laughs> uh, you look a little bit like George Clooney. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. This is a good podcast. Uh, it's a good video stream uh, guest. Nobody, no, nobody, th- nobody thinks he looks like George Clooney. Like put your go put your hand so that covers covers. Close your eyes. Uh. <laughs> hey, sorry for doubting your Britishness. That's okay. I'm uh, sorry for them doubting your George Clooneyness. It, it was actually a, it was actually a gentleman at the back who shouted on our behalf. So. Oh, oh you're, you're here with a whole gaggle of. Uh... Uh, no, no, just my wife. Oh, okay. Well, the, the so, so some random some, guy. Yeah, some guy just kind of volunteered. Oh, a guy knew behalf. you were English and like yeah, yeah. did that. Yeah, people do that in audiences. We, it, we, yeah, they, they 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 like volunteer other people. Uh, yeah. They go like to pick Kevin because <laughs> it's like they have this urge. They want to wanna, they want to impact the show. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's which cow- is it's neither cowardly. good or bad. But it's yeah, well, it's cowardly. <laughs> <laughs> or it, it could be it could be like really supportive. It could be yeah, like I, I, you know, this guy's so British, guy you have no idea. <laughs> he's happy, he's yeah. the hero. <laughs> so, but to be just to be clear, the person who said England did not say it with a British accent. I just want he did he didn't say it with a British right. accent. Now. Yeah. All Thanks, right. Scott. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I secede that point. <laughs> All right, Neil. So, what are you? You're visiting LA for what reason? Um, we're we're on holiday at the moment. Really? So, yeah. That uh, means vacation. <laughs> I was gonna say, there's no. I didn't approve of any holiday. <laughs> it's my empire. <laughs> Did we bomb someone today? <laughs> uh, the yeah, yeah. So you just is that just how your vacation hours lined up at work? And you uh, you, you just literally just you just took a vacation? Like? Yeah, we, we we came over. We we have, we've actually been over before to Harmontown. Uh, came oh, yeah. over at Christmas time. When oh, we were a sick, real holiday. When you were sick from Britain. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. Oh, there's someone in Scotland that got me yeah. sick. He is high fiving my kilt. He had Scottish germs all over him. <laughs> but I think they're they're a wonderful people. They're obviously they're like Braveheart. The uh, <laughs> But they're so robust, I think that the things on their hands like could kill an American. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't blame you guys for oppressing them. Well, they, they volunteered now to I, be oppressed. I know. I did, well, they, did they, they voted down the independence yeah, thing? Yeah. I, was, I was over there for the holidays, and it was, that, that was the big news over there. The ongoing thing was like this upcoming independence thing, and then I saw that it was coming up for vote. What, so, and, there, and there was a lot of confusion over there. It was sort of like... It's it's an exciting idea, but it's kind of like like a lot of people couldn't really. Whenever you had a practical conversation about what independent Scotland represented, it sort of got very tricky very quickly. Like, are you going to take out your own garbage? Well, they they got they got quite scared because we I think we said they couldn't have the pound. Right. Um, and and they were like, wait, wait, wait we don't want to be independent we, from yeah, they, <laughs> from they, the money everyone they basically uses. They said we, but we will still use it. Right. And we kind of went well. They were going to try to use both the yeah. pound and the euro, and you guys were going to take the yeah. pound away. We were gonna go, no, you can't have the pound anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to we're we taking can, our ball back. We can put a, yeah. a, a Scottish uh, detecting microchip in our money, and if you use it in Scotland, it'll it'll turn into a spider and sew your mouth, <laughs> sew your mouth shut, and it'll, it'll it'll put a sarcastic crown on your head, and then and then explode, <laughs> spider egg crown, because they have that old spider thing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> on their money. Oh y- yeah, yeah, yeah. They have regular. There, there was there's Scotland as like this spider thing. What is this? Is real? An actual? There was some the guy, spider? the George Washington of Scotland. He like watched a spider <laughs> make a web before he. It's not exactly crossing the Delaware. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a. Uh, it's a. I, I don't know why I have to say I'm kidding. I uh, like I'm a. I'm not, I'm not some jingoistic like like ah. Let's do funny comedy about how George Washington is better than some guy named <laughs> Mick Stevenson. Uh, t- he, t- he, there's a spider on their money, really? and the spider is like a Scottish thing because, like, he. But and I asked Aaron's Aaron's uh, Aaron's like retelling of the story. Like, like there's just two Americans having breakfast, and I was like, "What is the spider thing?" And Aaron like said, "Like, yeah, this guy. They were having a war, 
and he uh, he ran away for a while, and he went into a cave, and then he watched a spider uh, uh, build a web, and, and but the rock was slippery, so he was like, well, if he can do that, and then he went back to the war, and it went better. <laughs> I was like, that cannot be the real story. <laughs> but I think it was more like he was... He was in that cave for a brave reason, and the web was a way of measuring time. Well, it's kind of similar to Spencer's story in a way. With the yeah. Slippery bathroom. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. yeah if, if Spencer can get high in a uh, moss-lined... Yeah. Uh, any of us can do anything. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to uh, interrogate you about Scottish uh, history. <laughs> okay, I don't know much about it. Yeah. Honest, so. um, even though it's eight, eight miles from your house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the... Uh, I don't know anything about any of the lot of you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you all have too many different accents for a tiny little place. Like, I don't understand how you can talk so different. It's, it doesn't make any sense. I guess because in the ancient times, if you walked six blocks, that was like it took longer. I, I, th- I think it's because there's a lot of mountains. Yeah. And, and the fact we've been invaded by a lot of people. Yeah, so, so you'd be like... Hello, I'm going to climb over that hill. <laughs> I'll see you later, Fred. Yes, we'll see you at the holiday when we talk exactly the same. Very well, cheerio. <laughs> Ugh, oh, fuck this fucking hill. Oh, fuck my hill. Fucking god damn it. Oh, 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 go fucking down. Can't forget how to talk. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, fuck, I can't remember how I used to talk. <laughs> Let's just have a bunch of fucking babies then. <laughs> and uh, like, well, Daddy, what's over that hill? Fuck you, eh? We're going over to find out, you fucking cock suck fuck face. <laughs> 500 years later. Uh, hello. Uh, oh, for you, 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 you, for it's your old little spider. Those little spin away, but I'll see what I go. Jesus Christ! Eh? Uh, <coughs> it's not like that. <laughs> I imagine that's how that's how language. Probably, that's like sort of roughly how it went. Probably. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let let me throw this out to you, Spencer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> because the people are addicted to a kind of like narrative cap that we put on the show. Are they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> if you had the excuse that you were only doing it because I was putting you on the spot and you weren't supposed to be good at it and it was all my fault, so anything that went wrong, you could blame me and you don't have to want to do it. You don't even have to say yes. I'll make you do it. <laughs> would you? Would you improvise... Dungeon mastering for a new kind of game set in outer space, <laughs> where we are, we're like space people, <laughs> and we don't have character sheets because and and, we're, and, uh, and and you just kind of like you tell us what we can and cannot do, <laughs> like you know like we're six, huh. and we're on a spaceship. Oh, I like it. And then uh, and then we say, I'm going to do this. And then you're like, that's your turn. And you roll a die, and you're like, well, that's a high number. I bet you got that r- nailed. <laughs> that's yeah. vaguely... Yeah, that's like, like that. But it's in space, so yeah. it's still <laughs> magical. Well, wait, wait. It's magical? Well, it's... it's. I or mean, it's, it's saying tech. it's, like, trope-driven. Yeah, yeah. Like it it's sounds like, trope-driven. It's like you can make shit up, and it doesn't have to be like, wait, uh, you said Third Street. Then, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm down. All right. Yeah. Should we get a? Should we get some estrogen up here? Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's a weird I don't way know why to I put ask it. Rubens. <laughs> Isn't that a better way of putting it than? Uh, you're you're reducing. Well, nobody wants to be a gender to a chemical. <laughs> that's pretty. But, uh, but but in a lot of ways, that's very progressive. Uh, do you think it's progressive that I base it on a chemical? Well, uh, no, I just want to stop. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I would say that's very womanly, but that would be uh, horrible. Uh. <laughs> Yay! Hey we guys. did it. What's your name? I'm Stacy. Stacy from Washington. Well, Stacy from Washington. Okay. Hey guys. All right. Hey, before we start, can I? 
tell yes. you something really funny? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to do this. So I too had to buy a sweatshirt and I and I was thinking about it while I was getting ready and it's a it's a I love Southern California. You can't see because I have I swear I saw that one. Where where were you? Target. Oh, okay. Target. Yeah, it's just probably just anyway, one of the things. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't get this color. I mean, I almost like I was like, well, I should just commit <laughs> to what's better. happening here. Yeah, I think it's better on me, but it's cool. And then the next one. Because of the estrogen, like yeah. running through your brain. The next funny thing is there must be a hypnotist in the audience. <laughs> well, there probably is one. No, yeah. there really is. It was hilarious because it made it that much funnier because he was like, they were out of control and we're right behind. And he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was angry? He was upset about I mean, the... it was kind of... A, there was a little anger. I was a little indignant, yeah. I mean, there was... <laughs> 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 There's an indignant hypnotist. <laughs> well, can I say one thing before we bring him up? <laughs> Which I think is only fair to let him know. And obviously, I know the rest of you know it. But when I snap my fingers, you're going to remember you're not a hypnotist. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, Troy. All right, are you coming up? He's coming up. He's got a Pac-Man shirt. He's going to gobble up our time pellets. It just made it so much better. Okay. All right. Free for all. Woo! Hypnotist coming up. Are you... It's getting hotter and hotter in here. I like it. He, I like the Pac-Man shirt. Thank you. Oh, and it says no, oh, no, no. Thank you. No. Uh, hello, sir. What's your name? My name is James. James? All right. You can move that. That's just... Uh, that. Sit on my stuff. All right. James the Hypnotist. Where, where are you from? I am from Tustin, in behind the orange curtain, as it's called, up here. Okay. Uh, do, you, uh, do you know any canyoneers? I think that's where canyoneers are from, isn't it? <laughs> canyoneers. Uh, all right. Never mind. Sleepy. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So you're a hypnotist. Uh, I, I do have a caveat. I'm a hypnotherapist. Oh. I do real <laughs> hypnotherapy. But that's not <coughs> trick hypnotism. Yeah, you don't perform yeah, no, at the ice house in Pasadena. That's just like I, I wasn't doing an impression of guys I mean, that yes. help people. Like. <laughs> yes, I am a hypnotist. <laughs> <laughs> All the way from the land of Tarzana. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. I thought it was Tustin. Man, I think your anger was a little... Too much. Misguided, was. but uh, as was your bringing well, him up, and maybe he should. Like, all my fault, guys. <laughs> I this mean, guy totally made me look well, like Well, maybe he ass. has a defense. <laughs> maybe he has like some reason he'd like to share with us. You know, a, a reason for wanting to be up here. Um, whatever. <laughs> Spencer, I, my love is not enough. <laughs> So what? What's well, your defense? Well, no, because all of them are thinking I'll be on stage too. Fuck it. <laughs> like that's the problem. With I mean, the there's cameras now. Now yeah. everyone wants it. But well, uh, there are a lot of bad hypnotists in the world. Uh huh. Not like like good and evil. I'm just like <laughs> skill wise, very very untalented hypno hypnotist. So you're just saying that his was just a one off, and it's not indicative. It's it's very possible. Not to not to. Put words in your mouth. Well, like in sure. Dicative. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I bet that guy was a shitty hypnotist. I <laughs> think probably that's was. what Dan was saying. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So cool. Space. Oh. So space. Um, all right. So uh, uh, can you make uh, us feel less awkward? I. <laughs> Yeah, it's called Kettle One. It's right here next right, to you. Yes, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell us. Like, how 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 uh, in the in the psychological community? In the psychological community, yes. Uh, I'm not hypnotizing you. Uh, <laughs> the the how 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 you who I'm touching right now. You're about to ask me a question. That question is now going to be. I don't get how it. highly regarded <laughs> is uh, is uh, hypnotherapy? Is it? Does it? Is it? Uh, is it's it, great, in the psychological man. profession. Most psychotherapists or psychiatrists go to like a weekend seminar, and now they're hypnotists. Mm. It's fully great. trained. It's great. It's a great profession. And you did more than that. I, I well, I studied hypnotherapy for a year in Tarzana. That's why. Shout out Tarzana. But my, um, my brother got hypnotherapy, and it's crazy. It really changed his life. He went from being like a kind of a punk kid to like a crazy ass bodybuilder with all this drive and devotion and stuff. It's amazing. But it's, he still smokes cigarettes. Uh, he doesn't. No. Oh, really? You know, he uh, he stopped smoking. Uh, you know, drugs. Well, what did he stuff. go? For? Is that what he went for? Did yeah, to, yeah. We, this guy that he, was his hypnotherapist. He actually studied in India under, under like gurus and shit. Like. Like it was some crazy ass business. That may be a cult. 
you might I mean, want to talk if it, to him. If it works for him, I mean, sign me up. I'll drink whatever <laughs> Kool-Aid. You know, it was flavor aid. It wasn't Kool-Aid. <laughs> I told this story before I know it about uh, Schraub went to a hypnotherapist and uh, that's what that community story was based on when Pierce tries hypnotherapy on Britta because there's a real story from Schraub about how he went to this guy and the guy gave him this tape. It was like, I made this tape. You can take it home. You lay down, relax, go, go, and uh, I'll, it'll be me talking. It'll help you be more secure and stuff. And uh, it, Rob played the tape and it was like he, the guy was like, you know, you can hear his screen door opening and his wife's putting away groceries, his dog's barking. It's like, this guy's pretty bad. And then he went in for an in-person session, and Rob, like, he put Rob under, and Rob was like me at the Pasadena Ice House, was like, okay, I'll be under. And then the guy fell down and hurt his leg, and Rob, <laughs> Rob pretended to stay hypnotized <laughs> because he, was in, he didn't want the guy to be, like, hurting his, holding his leg in pain and then have Rob wake up and, then, and, 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 and go, oh, let me get a, call the doctor, and the guy would be like, ow, my leg hurts, and you were faking! <laughs> I'm a bad hypnotherapist, yeah. which which wouldn't have happened because if a person hurts their leg in the room, it should probably snap you out of it, right? It's not supposed to be magical. So he kind of actually did the opposite there by pretending to, he's gonna like think, okay. So oh God, I'm gonna die, and I I'm just too good a hypnotist. I'm gonna die, and nobody's gonna yeah. help me. Yeah, why didn't you just snap him out of it? Like snap out of this. And, uh, you, when I snap my fingers, you will get me to uh, the hospital. <laughs> I don't know. It's a really to... useful ability in that case, I think. <laughs> All right. So that was, you know, we did good with you, right? Why well, I, I I like to think so. All right. Well, let's have a hand for the hypnotherapist <laughs> guy. Thank you, everybody. That means uh, I'm going to make you disappear. <laughs> you're, you're, you're supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now, when I snap my fingers, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Let's give him a hand, everybody. Yes. <laughs> you see that, Rubens? Yeah. I mean, it seems like a bit that he could not take a suggestion, right? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know, like, well, I'm, he, he's I'm not even supposed to be that good at it. He's like. trained highly to resist suggestions. Oh, that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, it's like it is. bouncing that's off he, of him because yeah, he's like trained. armor plated. Okay, yeah. Spencer, were, when you said you see that, Rubens, were you criticizing my my uh, my come That was a yeah. little dig, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're doing I fine. Usually, I don't usually get digs from Spencer. Yeah, I, I mean, this is my element. If I could yeah. be said to have one. Wait, yeah. what's he supposed to? Do you think he, you think that was on him? I don't. Uh, it could have been. Oh no, yeah. come on. I make these people come well, up here. Spencer, who th we talked about Spencer and me for a second? Sure. Do we have time? I don't know. I love this guy. This guy is one of my favorite employees. Thank you. Spencer and I'm one of Spencer's employees. Yeah. And I Spencer and I get along great, but he did once say that he thinks I'm a I might be a monster. Yeah, well I don't Well so I mean I'm sure the podcast listeners are familiar with Matt Roller. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I knew you wouldn't. But uh he he also, you know, he's got a he's got a edgy kinda he might be on the edge kinda I think he's meaner thing. than I am. I don't think I've got that yeah, meanness. Yeah, but that's the thing. That's what it is. It's like that's the guy that, you know, you see at 2 in the morning, and then, he's, you know, you look away, and then you see him again, and he's way closer to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, uh -huh. yeah, he's got that. a yeah. smile, but he's also got a straight razor. Yeah, like, he's a little terrifying. Yeah. It's, it's, that, it's, it's that exact charm that you possess that makes you seem like he like Matt Roller is too obvious, you know? Oh, you think that I'm a smoother Matt Roller? Well, in that sense, yeah. Like if he was actually doing that, I think he'd tone it down more, you know? Like because you're oh, always so like I'm scarier than him because it seems like I'm Because think, you could be putting it on because you're right. so charming. Well that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> I think I think I think honestly what you're detecting is that is that as as I think is to some extent true of all of us. All of my your charm. two penises. Yeah, we all have multiple. I mean, men have two penises, women have one. Um, and uh, no, but I, no, I uh, told him that in the green room. <laughs> uh, Let's just get through this tonight and yeah. go home and Google the fuck out of him. <laughs> I think you're detecting the artifice over my extreme discomfort, not the artifice over my psychotic. Uh, yeah, he's a yeah, very, but very, I mean, uh, it's the same thing. I'm 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 it? the same way when oh. I'm yeah. It's very uncomfortable when I'm trying not to like yeah, but you serial don't, kill. You don't <laughs> when you're when you're trying not to. Yeah. Well, that's what the Go artifice for is for. No, it's not the same thing. I think that's not what I was saying. No. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. I think that. All right. No, I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well, okay. I've, I think that. 
We'll and talk. It, we'll talk tomorrow, Spencer. I'm glad. I think that Rubens and I share a uh, a desire to undo our discomfort by making it other people's problem, <laughs> like getting their feedback, yeah. their reaction. Like I don't think of it that way, but I probably do do that. I probably yeah. put that in a very negative way, like we're wiping yeah. our asses on other people. But, but like, <laughs> like, 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 like that. Like if we could, if we could get. If we could get everybody to sign off on us, I think we'd sleep a little easier right, than right. Spencer would. I think right. we, people sign off on Spencer really more than they should. Yeah. And, <laughs> no, and he I mean, doesn't help him sleep me. at night. He goes to bed and goes like, why are they signing off yeah, on me? <laughs> I should kill them. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up, man. It's hard to deal with. I don't get it. Yeah. If I, if, I, if I got through the day and everybody was like, you are doing all right. Oh, yeah, that would be nice. Like, first of all, I would have tried to figure out how I wasn't. Like, I would right. find the guy that said I wasn't. And that, but but if I d- exhausted all those options, I would go to bed and I'd be like, yeah, ah, nailed it for yeah. one day. Yeah. But I think yeah, sleep Spencer, so soundly. I think it's it could be it's arguably more honest of you to be like, I don't give a fuck if <laughs> well, people if like me. Well, if someone said like you you did a good job or whatever, I'd be like, were you watching me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not. To be I'd be trusted. instantly suspicious. Like I, that's how I am with praise. It's like, well, wait, what do you want from me? Yeah, Stacy said, I love you. She leaned with. over and said, I love you. Yeah, and yeah, well, what do you think that's supposed to mean? Yeah, exactly. What's, <laughs> what, what's, what makes me wonder what's wrong? Yeah, what that's what I'm saying. All right. She's got an ulterior motive in her I heart. Mean, I'm, I'm not a serial killer. It's cool. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's, that's off the table. Well, it was until just then. <laughs> <laughs> or am I? Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it's, mis- it's mysterious. You it know. is. You don't freaking know well, now I'm not starting. To, now, now I'm feeling you're not so dangerous. <laughs> All right, I'm a lot safer. Well, that's good because she's playing the uh, uh, the uh, space engineer, <laughs> which is sort of a druid type character <laughs> in our new sci-fi game, Space Cateers. Space Cateers. <laughs> yeah. Is there some music for Spencer to? Uh, it doesn't have to be space oriented. Nope. <laughs> There's no. You need a. You need a minute. Let's. We don't need that. Here, I'll, I'm gonna need audience feedback. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Wait, what's? Okay. That's your music for you starting right. to narrate the uh, circumstances that we're starting in. All right. Well, I'm gonna. I'm gonna point out to the audience when I need like a Mad Libs kind of fill in. Does that make sense? <laughs> So, uh, adrift in space, the starship. Okay, other, uh, more people. We need more participation than this. This is a golden opportunity. These, golden opportunity. The SS golden opportunity is adrift in space. Piloted by Lady Gaga. <laughs> Her trusty android, (laughs) Margaret Thatcher. (laughs) Assisted by space engineer, (laughs) Janine. As well as the young upstart, Alf. Alf. (laughs) Adrift in space, you... You regain consciousness after the gas disperses. There's gas, you notice, as you regain consciousness. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm Lady Gaga. <laughs> I, uh, I can't believe, I don't remember what happened. Damage report! Um, it's quite bad. Uh, <laughs> you, what? What? We, there's a big hole in the spacecraft. Oh. Um, it's kind of leaking in some kind of space. <laughs> <laughs> the gas, the gas was definitely yellow, um, and you're awake. Oh. Uh, and you're uh, J- Jacqueline or Daphne? What was your? I think it was Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> oh. Were any of those things you were explaining? Like inside British politics jokes, or no? Would you like me to? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'll be lost. I just so much so that I thought that might have been. I was like, it's like, is that why they were? Yeah, the yellow gas one. Yeah, is, a, is that? Yeah, that's yeah. like a reference to like Bristol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the hill and the axe. It's Ed yeah. Miliband's nickname. 
Uh, Someone got that in Britain. <laughs> I examined my surroundings. Uh, it's a spaceship. The spaceship you know and love. The SS Golden Opportunity. It does have a large hole in it, but you can see life support has already deployed a nano web that's keeping the pressure stabilized. All right. Yellow gas is indeed leaking, and you, you think it might be some of the quasar fluid that powers the rear engine. Mm. Not the side and turning engines, though. In yeah. case I'll go, you're I'll curious. go check, guys. I'll go check. You go check the uh, yeah. uh, nano fluid. Yeah, I'm kind of tired though. <laughs> uh, From the gas. I mean, I'm not gonna promise anything right now. <laughs> Are you? I can't remember. I'm just. I'm Janine. Janine. Yeah, that's, Janine. <laughs> that's Janine. Have we not been on this flight together? No, I just the gas like affected me. Yeah. I think all of our oh, heads are all a little. Right. You're fine. It's fine. I get it. <laughs> yeah. Um. The nano fluids are exceedingly low. You determine. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, as the uh, the young upstart of the ship, right? Is that what I am? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to just assert that uh, this is a time for a change in leadership. This Whoa. is a time when clearly something was mismanaged. Gaga is the leader, right? Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm a young up. I don't take it personally. I'm an upstart. I mean, What's your name? Alf. Alf? Alf. <laughs> I'm Alf. Yeah. Uh, and it just seems to me that this is a good time to maybe reconsider the leadership uh, hierarchy. hierarchy and the. Well, I I I, I, I just want to point out that I think if the new leader is going to be handling crisis crises well, they're not going to like you know, do this kind of thing in the middle of a hole in our quasar fluid thing. You know, <laughs> like you might be right. We we would find out later. Well, it seems to me that someone's being defensive. <laughs> I'm I'm too I'm too confident in my leadership to deal with this, so I I march straight to the uh, medical chest. Okay. Flipping my hair over my shoulder, uh, g girding my uh, loins within my nylon uh, bodysuit. I'm Lady Gaga. Huh. The ship rocks with the impact of several particle beams. Uh oh. Shit. I think we've been hit by several particle beams. <laughs> He's right. Well, maybe if we wait long enough, we'll vote for them to go away. And I <laughs> flip my hair. I, f I just aggressively flip my hair everywhere. I say uh, Lady Gaga is being snide, but I think this is a time for a vote. We're under attack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy. Uh, yeah. Weapons weapon systems deploy. Oh. Sorry. I didn't no mean to one, cut you off. No one of you knows how to use any weapon systems. Um, oh, I guess the android does. It's programmed into him. I'll push the red button. <laughs> the weapon systems deploy. Whoa. <laughs> Nice. Thank God. <laughs> in your face. In my face? Yeah. <laughs> I think in a lot of ways I was responsible for that move. I feel like you're not on our team right now. Want to take a vote? Just go for it. Android, how do we find out who's attacking us? Uh, we look through the window. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, I look at I look at Alf and go exactly, <laughs> <laughs> and I flip my hair more and I I look I look out a window. <laughs> you look at a window and you see what looks like a comet. It is a comet. A comet? Yeah, you don't know how that shot lasers, or maybe the lasers came from some other direction in some other window. Wait, is the comet moving? It's yeah, it's a comet. <laughs> but I mean, where's it? Where's it going? Where's it? It's a. Uh, you know, it's not really heading towards you. It's space. It's just comet. It's it's not heading towards us. No, it's just comet. Is it heading? Is it far, far away? I mean, yeah, it's pretty far. I mean, are we moving? Is it moving? What's the? You're adrift in space, okay. so yeah. So it's probably gonna be gone pretty soon. Is it? Is it like the Life Force comet? Uh, the film Life shit. Force. I just watched You're, that movie. You don't know that <laughs> offhand. You'd have to censor it or something. You. You don't know that? Why doesn't he know that? He's a robot. He's probably programmed with Life Force's plot. 
It's just not, you can't just sense whether or not something's like a Life Force-esque comment. Well, uh, Robot, tell us more about the film Life Force. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of naked ladies in it. Um, <laughs> nice. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of estrogen. Go <laughs> uh, <laughs> <come> on. <laughs> what happened with the comet? Um, it, it hit London. Uh, and then some naked. Oh, ladies is that why you guys out. are all into yeah, the movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh, brother. <laughs> um, can we run a diagnostic on the comet? <laughs> on the comet? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything sounds so officially spacey. <laughs> It's, it's like cheating to, to, to do <laughs> space improv with a British robot guy. <laughs> you want a diagnostic? Like, you, you could have a 30 IQ for all we know. <laughs> I was like, oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, yes, of course we'll run a diagnostic. Holy shit, don't, don't blow up Alderaan. <laughs> <laughs> so you determine that this comet is made out of uh, 80% ice and 7% carbon and, uh, what was that, 13%... High energy laser beam. What? It's not the one from Life Force, then. There's no naked ladies. <laughs> All right. Is that, the, so the com- I mean, I, I don't remember this movie. The, the naked, it wasn't like Tobe, Naked Lady Comet. Tobe like, Hooper? Was it director? Tobe Hooper. Yeah. I think he just yeah. meant that was in the movie, there was naked ladies. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. They were just in the movie. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. not firing. I, I think, think they did pick an, uh, one key naked lady out of, uh, out of the comet. It makes yeah, me so yeah. sad that in England they they just sit and wait for a movie w- in which London gets attacked <laughs> and then they go all go see it and they all they remember is the boobies. <laughs> it makes me think that you guys I want to send you a cup of soup or something over there. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but it's too late because China took over. <laughs> like, uh, I could have done something about this years ago. Monster House could have been set in. Uh, I want to say Kensington. Manchester. <laughs> Manchester. <laughs> It's a great place. And I would have filled it with tits for you, bro. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. So. So the diagnostic well, I, I, was ran. Yeah, I just want to point out that I feel like we're not being super efficient here. I mean, you've got, <laughs> you've got an, an android talking about life force. You've got a, uh, an upstart Elf. challenging constantly. I mean, this is a leadership failure. I mean, the fact that I am going on this speech to me feels like the perfect example of what is wrong with Elf, the current system. You've got to try to stop taking over the spaceship. <laughs> I sound like the Alf dad, no? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If I have to tell you. <laughs> These guys haven't seen Alf. <laughs> so it, uh, yeah, four of them have seen question, Alf. Guys. Great job, guys. Quick question. Uh, the comet uh, has the laser crap 13%. Is yeah. that what hit us? Are we. Should we be scared? It seems like it's like latent lasers that are staying in place. I mean, if place, I was adrift in space, I'd be scared, personally. Uh, I well mean, let alone with running. laser comets. We gotta get this shit back online so that we can be uh, not yeah. adrift anymore. Because that comet is not supposed to have laser energy in it. <laughs> and it shot us. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. And, yeah. uh, and, 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 yep. Uh, I, it I, appears I, to be changing course. See? And, uh, Starts uh, coming towards you. Can we? Can we? Can we hail it? Hail it. <laughs> y- you could, yeah. Ah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you could hail it. Uh, Captain Gaga, should we move course? I'm, 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 I'm going to the navigational controls. The uh, what do you call them? The piloting override. The bridge. Well, the uh, yeah, the thing that steers the ship. Uh, the helm. That's the helm. No. Okay. And the gas puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it, it, as it turns out, your quasar engine is uh, it's low in those quasar fluids. Oh, well, I didn't know uh, that. I, I, I mean, I did know that, but I didn't know the quasar engine. I thought that was like what ran the windshield wipers. No, they <laughs> ran. I mean, we could, we could hail the comet. I, I, yeah, I, I, maybe the lasers uh, are made of repairmen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 Being an engineer, can I um, engineer something to yeah. help? Well, what do you want to engineer? Uh, uh, just fix it. Fuck. Fix what? The quasar. But is there a storage room? Uh, yeah, more? there's all sorts of storage rooms. Uh, do we have a storage room with quasar? Um, can I go there? You go into the storage room. 
you see all sorts of blasters and energy weapons as well as force fields and canisters of quasar fluid. Excellent. I corner her in the uh, storage closet. I'm and it's, I'm not physically like keeping her from leaving, but it's like I make it awkward. <laughs> and I just start conversationally like I'm, I'm like, you should wear more skirts to work. <laughs> Gaga, I don't want to step on your territory though. I mean, I well, mean, you're Lady Gaga. While they're in the closet, I hail the comet. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I think we're a power. Or your power. We need, we need to get out of the closet. Somebody hailing the comet? Yeah. <laughs> the hailing frequencies are open. You can you can say whatever you want. Uh, can you help me carry <laughs> this out? I mean, <laughs> you no. Know, he's I, he's hailing the comet. Oh, he's yeah. saying to him, oh, we can. Okay. I, I, I might be able to help. Maybe I can speak a oh, lot yeah, of different yeah, languages. Yeah. Can, well, yeah. Let, well, yeah. That's a good. I'll, yes. I'll try all those. Can I try all the languages in my database? Well, what do you want to say? Ask, ask Please stop shooting us. <laughs> yeah. uh, you tune into its frequency, and uh, you say that, and uh, you hear a, you hear a, a hissing buzz of the of the comet's uh, frequency signals returning back to you in comet language. Do, do, does he, does, can you translate that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's saying, "Oh, okay." <laughs> All right. Oh. It's saying okay. We did it. Oh, the comet probably just got got too high in Pittsburgh and wanted to. I uh, just lashing out a little bit. All right. Well, that was a. I blow up the ship. <laughs> what? What's in the? Is there something in the storage closet that if I kick it'll blow up? Uh, well, there's all sorts of weaponry. Yeah. I just I, ki- I take the <laughs> biggest gun and I shoot the reddest container. <laughs> Every. Th- Everything blows up. Whoa! Oh. All right. Well, thank you for coming to our first live video streamed experiment at Harmontown. Thank the rest of you for coming to our uh, another normal Harmontown. Guest Comptroller Alex Rubens. Stacy from Washington. Neil? <laughs> from Nottingham. Nottingham. From where? Nottingham. Nottingham, really? Jesus, bury the lead. He's from Nottingham. (laughs) Spencer from Pittsburgh. Dustin Marshall, our producer. Kevin Day, our technical guru who came in and took over the place with his cameras. Uh, We'll see how it works, and uh, we'll give you more news. Thanks for coming to Meltdown. Thank you, Meltdown, and I'll see you next week. I think. I think. Aww.